There's something about that spicy, spicy smell of the first run of the day. The first run of the day. The first run of the day. First run of the day. First run of the day. What's going on, guys? How you guys doing? You having a good one? You gonna win it? Dude, fuck yeah, I'm gonna win it. How you guys doing? I was gonna say... Coffee. <laughs> the first coffee of the day. Um, but also the first run of the day. God, it's hot in San Diego. I know, I know I keep complaining, but fuck. Hey, Jewel, no, I'm not hungry. Thank you, though. Hope you have a blumpy stream. That's not, that's not nice. Oh, dude, this game is fucking haunting me. If you guys didn't catch the race yesterday, we won, but I died in winter. I somehow won, even though I died in winter. Third day in a row. I mean, yesterday was a short stream. We just did one banjo run for the race. Um, yes, we always have to kill. His name is Evil Carl. So every time we get to Evil Carl, I want the chat to just fucking spam. Kill Evil Carl. Evil Carl must die. Yeah. Every single time. Like, we've lost- I, I just- I just figure, like, after last night, we've lost the privilege of letting him live. Cause I- I can't- I can't deal with the responsibility. Evil Carl is the, um, he's the, uh, fucking grublin rap boy genius during winter that we've died to and lost at least three runs to at this point. So, it, it's kind of at this point, we just gotta kill him. Like, yes, I can get around him, but it's not worth it. Not like, what, two and a half hours into the run? Yeah, two hours and- two hours and thirteen minutes into the run, we gotta kill him. It's- it's- it's not- it's not worth it. It's like Banjo just died there. That was Jimmy. That was Jimmy. Five runs? I believe it. I think you're over-exaggerating for the- for the bit, but- God, what- why do these people suck at Banjo so bad? Okay, you guys ready for the first run? I already did FFM. I'm a little bit tired. I'll, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. We got we got to get runs going, bro. We got bro. We got to get runs. That guy Uno, thank you so much for con continuing your sub, um, and thank you everybody who subbed earlier. Streamlabs is still broken for me. Um, do I know my next opponent? I can't remember. Um, starts with a B, but yeah. Looking less tired than yesterday. I feel more tired though. That's that's the sad part. I feel more tired than I was yesterday, but I know I, I look I look less tired. <laughs> Alright. Dry and glide. First run of the day. Let's do this. We haven't uh, scheduled the next race yet, but I'll let you guys know when we do. No, I ate. I ate before this. How hard is this run for newbies? Very hard. It's it, mostly it's just long. There isn't a shit ton of tech. It's just it's a very long run. It's just like fucking endless. Two and a half hour run if you're good. Three hour run in the beginning. Uh, okay. So this is looking like a three hour run. <laughs> it's because of that. Yeah, one day you guys will get to use your Streamlabs points, we'll figure that all out. But for now, everything's broken, and I'm sorry. Yeah, 16 star is a, 16 star is a lot trickier, uh, but that's almost like one of the things that makes it more fun and engaging. Like, you don't want too easy of a run, because then it just gets boring. Um, Mario 64 is the, the perfect um, marriage between tech and uh, just general... Um, Speedrun bullshit. Yeah, and it's very short. World record for 100% banjo is uh, 1 hour 57 minutes by Stivdy Bobo. And I think next is Asmi with 159. Yeah, you guys don't get text, uh, text tips on Xbox. Suck. Excuse me. I feel like Xbox has to be a little bit smoother to run though, but I have no idea. 
I can't remember if I ever actually played Banjo on Xbox. Alright, let's get bottle skip. Let's do it. Ah, close. One star runs, those are cool. They're fun to watch, but um, they're very hard. They're very hard to execute. Sorry. Doing uh, disc only? Hell yeah. I still haven't beaten casually. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what makes the Xbox 360 version um, specifically slower. Like, what specifically makes it like more more slower than the N64? One hour fifty-seven minutes. Uh, one, one hour seven minutes. No, one hour. Uh, one hour fifty-seven minutes for hundred percent. I'm not worried. Ruse Jed. Yeah, the goal is sub 220. You look a little bit sick. <laughs> Thank you. It has to load more frames. Gotcha. Uh, I'm I'm probably going PS5 for sure. Um, I I haven't been really much of an Xbox gamer since um, the 360. My my input was way too early. And I still in there. I do not have the Coroni. Oh, God. Okay. Well, made it work. 401. Not super great, but that's okay. <sighs> I want to have some coffee, but it's too hot. I don't want to burn my little lips. I don't want to sizzle my little tongue. Thank you, boy, Ben. Appreciate that a lot. What's up, JFam? Get some iced coffee? Yeah. I wish I wish I had I don't know. I wish I had iced coffee. I wish I had like cold brew, dude. Or, like nitro cold brew. Gimme the fucking bean ladder. Fuck. Fuck dude. Gimme the fucking bean ladder. Hello sir, welcome to Starbucks. Gimme the fucking bean ladder. Hello. Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Gimme a venti bean ladder. Fuck you. Hello, monkey. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good one. Oh, so good. Oh my god. I love your music, but now it's the best game ever. What's up, Rose Plus? Ooh, that was close. That's not gonna hit. That'll hit. That should hit, right? Yeah, it felt good. Is there a way to watch the race from yesterday? Yeah, it was, um, you can go to Banjo Race. So, uh, twitch.tv slash Banjo Race. Um, uh, the, the VOD is up on there. You can watch it if you want. Banjo, it's smart! Rose Buzz, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. Oh, I missed the Jiggy. How did I miss it? Yeah, Pembles does have very loud alerts, but they're they're good. They're good and game related. I wonder if he gets that mix because that would just scare the shit out of me. Like, I mean, we we had that stuff in uh, Mario where I thought the I thought the banjo and Smash was gonna scare me during like the last uh, the last what do you call it? Yeah, loud alerts. You say we we wouldn't know anything about that over here. Okay. I'm just I'm just so not in the like like 
gamer mood mode right now. So I'm just like that meme where he's just like, okay. You think? Yeah, he said he said it didn't catch him. Get in there, get in there, you piece of shit. There you go. <laughs> I'm always getting jiggy with it. Probably need rest. No, I'm good. I got plenty of rest last night. Mostly kind of just waking up. No, I'm a gamer. Don't you fucking worry about that. Don't ever, don't ever question whether or not I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Just woke up from a nap, yeah. Mostly, so, um, last night I had a lot of, like, super vivid dreams, and I know why I'm so tired. Uh, I had a lot of vivid dreams, and I had really bad luck of every time I woke up, it was right in the middle of my REM, my REM cycle. So, like, I remember I woke up at noon to, uh, tweet out and, you know, promote the video that came out today. Um, and I knew, and I was so fucking, like, I was in that mode of just, like, I, w I went from dream to real life, like, so fucking fast. And I was like, yeah. Has new PB music? I haven't made it yet. But the, the new, the new one that we, we just made gets claimed, so we gotta change it. Um, not, actually not a bad mumbo. Yeah, I'll, I'll work with that. Yeah, dude, it sucks cuz you need to like you you wake up you f wake up feeling more rested if you wake up um in a uh more higher stage of sleep. Yeah, I got claimed. Both Moscow and uh the other song we were doing. I think DK Rap gets claimed as well. New videos on Family Jewels. We did a uh, Red Streamer Battle with uh Insane in the Rain um from uh Origami King. Yeah, claimed by the entirety of Moscow. Let's move to Vimeo, won't get claimed. Nobody watches Vimeo. Literally zero people watch videos on that website. <laughs> Should upload it to Live Leak. I use Sleep Cycle if I need to wake up. Um, Nierfenheimer. I, I, I don't usually wait, do it if I don't have that. Like, for streams, like, yeah, I, I should probably be on a better schedule, but like, the more s strict I am with my schedule, the more, uh, the more I fucking uh, abhor streaming. So like, I like kind of being able to just like wake up, get ready at, on my own pace, and then when I'm ready to stream, I'm just, I go live. And it works. I mean, you guys know about the time that I usually go live, so. You watch, uh, but there's nudity on YouTube. Yeah. Isn't the Banjo and Smash sample also claimed? No, it's not. Stuff like that doesn't get claimed. There's banjo in your cup. That's right. That's right. Um, no, I, uh, yeah. So then I went back to sleep for about three hours because I was just like, I want to, I want to like get some good rest and then wake up in a better spot. But then of course I woke up again in the middle of a dream because it's too hot. Cause we have to, I think I actually woke up at four. Um, four is around the time that all of our air conditioning turns off because it's an on peak hours for, um, uh, for electricity, so uh, it's way more expensive to turn on the air conditioning like four until about like 9 p.m. So uh, I usually just come down here to the studio where it's like a lot cooler. Hey, what's up, Josh? Yeah, so I woke up in the middle of a dream on the like after I just woken up in the middle of a in the middle of my REM cycle. I went back to sleep, woke up again because I was sweating. So then, yeah, it sucks. Listen, I'm not gonna ever shame you guys for kinks, but if I ever find out that any of you guys went to YouTube and searched vagina educational video and you jerked off to that shit, we're not cool, dude. I, I'm sorry. It's just, it ends there. Not because I'm like mad at you, just I'm confused and concerned. There's so many easier ways, man. There's so many e easier ways. So many easier ways. Thank you so much for the 960. Oh, Marnie. Oh, my girl. Best girl in the game. 
Well, that's that's what I'm saying. You say you got to do what you got to do, but you don't got to do that. <laughs> you don't got to do that, man. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Nessa's good. Not as good as Marnie, though. N Nessa's my Nessa's my close second to Marnie. Nessa's very good. Oh shit! Pornhub got censored. That sucks. What country are you in? France? Oh, dude, I can't believe Pornhub's banned in France. Do they have? Do I I feel like of all countries, France wouldn't have like strict stuff on like nudity and, and sex and stuff. I mean, to the rest of the world, France is like the romance capital of the world. You know, it's surprising to me, but I am also, you know, a huge fucking generalist of other countries because I'm from America and we just paint caricatures of every other country that's not us. Yeah, you could get a VPN. You can get Shark VPN. Sir, sorry, I didn't even say that. Surfshark VPN. Dude, they all of my sponsors so far, so like Smite and Surfshark both were like so happy with what I did that they want to do it again, which I think means I'm doing it right. And I feel like I'm doing it in a way that's like it's not too annoying, right? You guys are They teach real sex ed? What what makes it real? There's romance on Pornhub? You make a strong argument, but yes. <laughs> you make a strong argument, but you're wrong. <laughs> there is romance. There's that real shit, you know? How to do child sex sexual abuse? Yeah. Um, I have no idea, man. I have no idea. That's good. Damn. It's straight to the bottom. Oh god, actually, you're right. JFAM, you're right. I actually think Ness is third for me. I for How do I forget about B? Fuck. B is Bay. Or Bay is Bay. I don't. I think it's B. B. Bumblebee. What about Thick Mom? Is that Sonya? I'm not a huge fan of Sonya. It's not really my my go-to. Oh, Melanie? Who the fuck is Melanie? Beepo from Adventure Time? I, uh, Ice Type... Did I see Melanie? I, I don't know if... I think I played Sword, so I, don't, I didn't see Melanie. I don't know if I... I don't know if I got that one. Her son is in sword. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I have no idea who Melanie is. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got. I got B. Dude, she's she's fucking great. She mommy as fuck. Pretty good. Melanie is straight milled. Hell yeah. Was the dumbest concussion you got? Um, I don't. I've never gotten a concussion. <laughs> I am very protective of my head. <laughs> Getting concussions is not a normal thing. Shouldn't be, at least. I love Chun Li. Chun Li's sick. Dumbest injury when I was, uh, I think I must have been like eight years old or something. Um, uh, I was, uh, on like one of those like playgrounds that has, have like the tire, the tires coming out of the ground. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, you know, like the, the half tires. And I tried to, um, they were doing like an obstacle course and I was, doing my turn on the obstacle course and I jumped on the tire and I jumped off and I realized I didn't have enough I, I realized it was a lot higher than I thought so I, I tried to break the fall with my hand and uh, I broke my wrist 
That was, that was the first time I, I severely broke a bone. Oh, man, it was my my left wrist that I broke. So I've broken my left wrist, um, my right hand. Uh, every single finger on my left hand except my thumb. Um, actually, no, my right hand. All, all the fingers on my right hand except for my thumb. Um, playing basketball, and w uh, I broke my pinky catching a shoe from a long distance. Um, when I was in, uh, when I was a, a counselor in training, when I was, I was training to become a counselor, um, I was playing catch with one of the camper's shoes, um, because we thought it was funny. Um, I, I can't remember why, I think, uh, the, the camper, um, the camper wasn't tying their shoes, so we were, uh, passing the shoe around. Um, to be like, tie your shoes, otherwise people are going to take your shoes and start throwing it around like this. You know, we were just like, being silly. Obviously, now now looking back, I feel like we were probably bullying this camper, but... <laughs> is, is it really, is it really, uh, is it really camp unless you're getting bullied? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Apologize out there if I've, I've, I, if you're out there and you've been severely, uh, bullied for your shoes. Did we drop the shoe? No, I caught it at a super long distance and I caught it with my pinky. Um, caught the shoe with my pinky from a very far distance, and it, it crushed my pinky and broke it. He moved out of the way! Yeah, instant karma. Ficor, don't say the word midget. Midget is... offensive. Banjo got crabs. Yeah, we're still green. It was a good, uh, it's a good split. How low is your moral compass? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so Nabil. And so Steven here, you, you've you been asking like the fucking <laughs> most like, I don't know, whatever. Why game bitrate is low? It, I noticed the bitrate was low on, um, on the race. I gotta check it. I don't know why, because I'm seeing it fine. I'm seeing it fine on this end. It's gotta be the, the stream bitrate. But yeah, when I was watching the race, I saw I saw a lot of pixelation. What's that supposed to mean? Well, like, why would you ask me how low my moral compass is? That's like... <laughs> you know? Do, do not, like... I don't know. I'm just kind of like, if you don't realize, like... The way that question's phrased is kind of rigged. Yeah, it's a super loaded question. If you don't realize that, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, like, whatever. How much of a dick are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jules, how much of a fucking asshole are you? It's like, all right. <laughs> how high is it? Very. <laughs> How many people do you murder on the daily? Man, uh, I gotta do some quick math, but I think it's a pretty hard zero. <laughs> What's my kill count? Family jewels, what is your kill count? I don't know why Solid Snake is asking me that, or why Solid Snake knows who I am. Solid Snake loves video game metal covers. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Josh, I appreciate that. See, that's that's a, that's a healthy chat. A chat that, a, a chat that sees that I did something very difficult, like add up zero, and zero, and says, "Very good. I'm proud of you, son." <laughs> How many people have you pissed off? I've pissed off a good amount. Uh, a good amount of people. I've had my fair share of pissing, pissing offs. No way. It's the doorbell guy. I 
How many people have you pissed on? Zero. But um, I was uh, with a girl once who was with a guy who really liked being pissed on. And she was very uncomfortable about it. I think she did it, but she felt insanely uncomfortable about it. Um, I feel like if you've got a pissing fetish, you really got to find somebody else who shares it, you know? I think I can make it with four. <laughs> oh my god, it's the Grant Kirkhope Trespasser. Mm, this is gonna be kind of tight. Let's just go straight up and hope I don't die here. All right, we're good. Yeah, we can definitely make that. <laughs> is that baby Kirkhope? Yeah. Hello, guys. I'm Jules Kirkhope. I didn't think that first one was going in. So I've been a cat person for most of my life, but um, I had I had up to the max I had was I think I had seven cats at one point, and so I'm kind of I'm kind of over cats. <laughs> I love cats. I love my cat back home. Um, I love that little shit, but I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to them. Um, all all three of my little shits that are still back at home um, in Massachusetts. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I want a dog now. <laughs> Yeah, I can't change my name from Conroy because then then Chugga Conroy wins. He's he can't fucking have Conroy. That's mine. Birds are cute, but I don't know if I could do a bird just because since a lot of birds are very loud, uh, it would make recording impossible. So I'd need a very quiet dog. I just want a little fucking puff ball that falls down the steps. Just fucking. I just want like a Pomeranian that's too fluffy and it just like falls down the steps and go and then just looks up at me like <laughs> That's all I want It's a little just a little fucking just essentially a little Furby that I could just take with me anywhere Hell yeah perfection Is Chugga your dad? No. Chugga Conroy was a... W uh, Emil found Chugga Conroy from a random name gem generator. One second, gotta focus. I had it, and then I tried to back up because I didn't think I had it, so then I, I fell off of it. So close. It's okay. I did, like, one slight correction, and I think that's what killed it. I probably should have just set it up better. Forty-two eggs is pretty good. How are you? I'm. I was gonna say good, but <laughs> I did that. Um, I'm pretty good. Come on, third one. My God, one more time. Go. There we go. I don't know when the. Excuse me. I don't know when the next race is. Uh, I. We have not planned it yet. I'm doing okay. Um, I, I'm I'm kind of slow to waking up today because I, I was telling these guys that I I uh, um, I had some uh, trouble. Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. All right. I don't think I'd ever run Mario Galaxy, but I would definitely run Odyssey. Did I eat today? Yeah, I ate, I ate right before the stream. Actually, I I ate and then I took a shower. And then the last thing I did was I just got out of the shower and then went live. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna make it. I looks like it was kinda ass so far. Yeah, I'll probably do Barman next. That's the, that's the idea. What? Oh my god. Speedrun doorbells. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, Tokats. My sleep schedule's already ruined, so if you guys want to watch my streams, you gotta... You gotta go down with me, man. There we go. I mean, yeah, I think I definitely, like, of all people, I definitely think doorbells Once are overrated. Have some fun with me, <laughs> Oh, like, thanks so much for the 43 months. Homic Smash says, fuck. And with that, we have Homic Smash's tombstone. So what's gonna be on his tombstone? I'm just gonna say, Homic Smash. Fuck. What are your thoughts on Chugga Conroy and the hyper dance? Hi hyper? The hiker dance? Hiker dance? I think it's great. It's a great tradition. It's wholesome, positive. Listen, man, I, I used to fucking, I used to be the fucking cringe police, let me tell ya. If something wasn't fucking, wasn't fucking up to, up to the cool police, then I was not a fan of it. But you know what? The world is so full of negative bullshit that I don't care if it's fucking cringe. If it's positive and wholesome, I'm all for it, man. Are you, are you emo, right? Yeah. Are you emo? What's up, Snow Wolf? Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I'm, I'm like asking, <laughs> because like you were all black. Do you were all black because like you're depressed. That one's really loud today. Welcome to Janley, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Hope you enjoy your time here. Son or daughter. Please. <laughs> cringe will still be cringe in my book, wholesome right now. Well, I'm sorry about that. Oh, fuck. No, we gotta get those. I forgot. I need to get all that shit. Yeah, this clanker sucks, bro. Are you emo? Prepped for the butcher? Damn, that's fucking metal. Should finish this run. I'll just finish this run no matter what. Yeah, I really like Linker's Cavern. I think it's pretty sick. I don't know why everyone hates it. Oh fuck! I just jumped right over it. Favorite fighting game? I like Scott Pilgrim. I would say uh, my favorite, like, er, my favorite, like, Tekken style game would probably be Virtua Fighter. Virtua Fighter 4 was my favorite. I think Clanker is terrifying. No, nah, I think people have different reasons. Oh, well, never mind. Maybe you're right. I think Clanker is cute. This is me. Yeah, I really like Virtua Fighter. Yeah, the dives. Yeah, the dives are pretty scary. Clanker's got them DSLs. You know it. Those metal, rusty, tetanus DSLs. Mm mm mm. Yeah, so we're looking at about 30 seconds, Red. What's up, Scoot? I can definitely work with 30 seconds. We've got like a minute and a half in gobies. I've not played Skullgirls now. Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I never played it, but um, I heard it's good. I'd love to play it someday. Do I watch anime? Yes, I watch anime. Every once in a while. I'm not like a huge weeb. I have my favorites. I have my girls. I, you know, that's about it. I'm not really into shonens. That's about my, I really, my favorite kind is like slice of life anime. Favorite banjo level? It's probably casual as Cluck Clock would because the, the level is just so fucking immense and creative and the music is so good. Um, for speedrunning, um, 
I don't know. <sighs> They're all good. Top three anime. My favorite anime is Clinad. Um, I also like uh, the second season of Full Metal Panic. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, Dragon Maid. Yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen the first season of K-On. I want to watch the second season. Yeah, I, I want to see a big foot. I've not seen Steins Gate. I've seen Cowboy Bebop. It's okay. It's good. It's it's good. It's it's better than okay. It's just it's not really my style. I haven't seen Clone Wars. I don't. I haven't been in kind of like a watching stuff mood. I couldn't get. I couldn't get into Soul Eater. Soul Eater was a little bit too. Uh, I don't know. The the writing didn't. The the writing was hard for me to be excited to watch another episode. You know, it definitely has to be like at this point. Like with so many like bingeable animes, it has to be pretty fucking good. You know, like it has to be like. You know, I'm I'm excited to hit the fucking yes Netflix. I am still watching button. Like, otherwise, like I'm probably gonna like forget about it and move on. Made in Abyss is fucking fucked up and on, dude. It's amazing. Um, I know, I know. Um, Kevin, the 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 guy who um did the music for it, not super well, but I do know him. Um, and dude, Made in Made in Abyss is is a. It's an assault on your senses and emotions. It's beautiful. It's terrifying. It's fucked up. It's so... It's just everything. Like, it is... It is something. Made in Abyss was an experience that I can't... I can't really put into words how I felt about it. Because it was just so overwhelming. Yeah, I'm hyped for the movie. I'm definitely gonna watch it, like always, because it's fucking amazing. But it's, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Made in Abyss is a lot to, lot to, lot to take in. I'm floored that that show is like a fucking Nickelodeon or whatever. Leaf hype, dude. I'm getting really good at grabbing that leaf. I haven't seen ReZero, but that is on my list. Leaf hype. Am I having a good day? Yeah, so far. So far, I'm having a pretty good day. I had a good night. I worked on some really cool music with um, Jack. So yeah. Yeah, I've heard about Fall Guys. I um, I want to uh, maybe play that with Jack. It'd be fun. Like that's a, that's a, that's like a, a play with the homies game. It'd be fun. Damn, that was fucking actually fucking optimal. That was sick. I didn't touch the, the water at all there. Maybe I should do that from now on. Fall Guys is okay. Favorite Pokemon game? Um, probably uh, second gen, so gold, silver. I played gold. Fuck you. Fall Guys with every single TRG member? That would be fun. Maybe we could maybe we could have like a have like an event where we do all games like that every member of TRG can play at the same time. Just get a fucking huge ass Battlefield 1942 game. <laughs> Crystal, Crystal's good. How do I pick covers that I want to do music of? Uh, usually I just it's whatever I I feel like it that week. Usually, like, I get to Monday. Monday's the day that I start working on it for the next week, and then I'm just like, all right, what do I want to cover today? And then I just I just choose that one. Luckily, I really like video game music, so there's usually something. Happened with the clinker split? Um, we fucked up. We, it, like, minor mistakes all over the place. It was it, There wasn't, like, one big thing that happened. It was, it was multiple tiny mistakes. That cost a lot of time overall. Christian Shark, uh, sometimes, um, a lot of the time it'll actually be more like, um, sometimes I'll see, uh, I'll see, a something from somebody, uh, 
like or I'll, I'll see like a lot of a lot of requests like like a, if a lot of different people are requesting the same song from like a game that i'm covering from i'll usually like use that when i'm like oh like i want to cover a, a song from this game but i don't know which one um usually i'll use those uh to, to figure out which one i'm gonna do next uh click clock would split up into a bunch of different splits but yeah if, if you were to count click clock wood as like one continuous split that's definitely the longest it's probably like a 30 minute split i usually stream on uh tuesdays gram tuesday thursday and sunday are my, my main days rust bus it's not up yet i know this i know the link is broken um i was trying to fix it earlier but it, it hasn't gone up on stores yet i usually set up that link before um it goes up on stores because like uh usually it takes until the, about the day of um the upload to go up so the day the upload I, I set up that link but it's still not up yet so sorry about that no i don't want to beat the world record i mean it would be cool but i i don't want to put that much time into this game i just want to i just want to have fun with it and beat my own have my own goals Obstacle in our path. Uh, probably not. I've pretty much covered all these Xenoblade songs I want to do at this point. Maybe someday I'll do the title theme, but... I don't know. More Stardew Valley covers? Probably not. If you're a vegetarian, name all the plants. There's cabbage, and that's it. That's the only one you really have to worry about. Nina asks permission before posting links. That's one of the rules in our channel. Did you? I didn't. I didn't give you permission though. Cyan, red, purple. Fuck you. Oh, God damn it. Link to your latest music video on your channel. Nina, I would rather you just, you know, apologize instead of just double down all the time. It's like the third time that I've been like, Nina, you did something that's against the rules and then you just double down. I'd appreciate, like, no, I did not give you permission to make the link. Don't make me continue to tell you what you did wrong. Red, pink, blue, yellow. Red, pink, blue, yellow, red. Red, blue, pink, yellow, red. Okay. It's all right. Just for the future. I really appreciate it. And that goes for everybody. Oh, wait. Red, pink, blue. <laughs> Nierfenheimer, no. I like that you put six at the end, too. <laughs> like. <laughs> all right. I got this. Red, oh, red, purple, red, purple, cyan, purple, yellow, red, purple, cyan, purple, yellow, red. I am not awake for this. Red, purple. No, that's good. I just like, it gets out of control when one person starts posting links and then, you know, and then everyone starts posting links and then I can't control it. It's just, it's just better to have a policy of, like, e b before I just, like, start, like, auto-modding, I don't want to have to auto-mod links, because then people have to, like, permit it. You know what I mean? Like, like sometimes there is a time where I'm just like, yeah, can you post a link? Sorry, I forgot to do something. But then, like, uh, I'd rather just everybody just, you know, follow the rules. Because usually you guys are great. And I appreciate that. But you know how it is. A tipped-up choir cover? I don't know. Never. How about fucking never? Three health. Alright, we're gonna do... Why are you so sexy? I don't know. I eat a lot of Taco Bell. Yeah, rules are below. Yeah, and that's the thing, like, my rules are not really that crazy, you know, so I feel like it's not asking too much. Popeyes or KFC? Neither. I'm a vegetarian. 
Yeah, if you eat a lot of Taco Bell, you get fucking hot. <laughs> by, by like literally, you'll get hot. Your ca your caloric intake will raise your temperature by a lot. Can you eat fish as a vegetarian? No, but I do. So technically, I'm a pescatarian. That's the name of somebody who eats no meat, but only f the only meat they eat is fish. Um, I ha I only eat it in like sushi sometimes, but I still prefer vegetarian sushis. Um, but yeah, I don't eat meat otherwise. If you really want to play by the rules, I mean, I do it for mo mostly like health reasons. So I'm not gonna do it. I'll just fucking. Yeah, veggie sushi's really good. Oh yeah, tofu and beans, definitely. Those are those are pretty much vegan. Why am I vegetarian? So, uh, uh, back in the day, it might, it might have been like 14 or something, um, me and my friends had a, had a dare to see who could be vegetarian the longest. Um, and it was really easy for me. Um, because my whole family is vegetarian or vegan. Uh, so we never had meat in our house anyway. We never had meat prepared in our house anyway. So anytime that I had meat, it was like, I would go out and buy fucking chiggy nuggets or like it would be like <gasps> McDonald's or Burger King. So um, I was like, this will be easy. Um, and of course I'm, I, I won and I'm still winning. Um, but um, no, it turned out that uh, they like one of the pe the person who like was like, ha ha, let's do this. Uh, just wanted an excuse to be um, anorexic, have an eating disorder, and nobody would ask questions because then they could just be like, oh, I'm just I'm trying this vegetarian thing. That's why I'm not eating. Um, yeah, it's too bad. She went down kind of a bad path, but whatever. Shit happens. People do, people make decisions. You can't change them. You can only just give them compassion and just sympathize for them. Not be mad at them and just... It's the worst thing you can do. Is be mad at somebody for the decisions that they make because that's not going to make them change. It's like Mr. Vile. Mr. Vile, who hurt you? Do we want to talk about eating disorders? Look at this fucking red di red crocodile. He's got a problem. Like, he's not even hungry. That's the thing. Is like, he's just... He's eating as much as he can out of... Out of... Spite. You know? This is anger eating. It's not good. He's bored. <laughs> no, he's not bored. Does that look like the face of a bored person? He's fucking... He's angy. Angy eating. Nope, that's mine. This is my this is my uh, my cannon. So so Mr. Vile is so this is not a race. This is more of just like um, Mr. Vile's my friend, and we're really really concerned about his eating habits. So we're trying to we're actually trying to just like be like no like I'm trying to gorge myself so he doesn't gorge himself as much. So I'm just going for all the trying to eat all the ones that he's gonna eat. I feel like I, I feel like it's just more it's just more like I'm a bro, you know. I'm just like, dude, you, dude, you gotta stop eating so much. It's bad for you. I just care. So we're bullying him. No, we're we're trying to make sure that he doesn't eat. Like he's gonna eat all these motherfuckers, you know. So we gotta eat them before he does. There ain't any fucking grumblies for you, bitch. Alright, where are ya? I just, I just feel we should forgive Mr. Vile, you know? Oh, come on. I wasn't looking at the clock. It switched. We all have to learn to forgive. It's hard. Forgiving is hard. Being mad at people is easy. He 
He is an evil, evil Carl, that is correct. Evil Carl does have to die. There's very, there's very few people I would consider at the point of uh, non-redemption, and Mr. Er, and Evil Carl is beyond help. My favorite ice cream flavor. I really like cookie dough. <laughs> evil Carlos is or, or Evil Carl is Ober. Yeah, he's unforgivable, unfortunately. He's well. I mean, he's murdered so many times. I, I don't personally believe in the death penalty, but. You're not, you're not just killing a bear and a bird. You're killing my run. That's three murders every time you murder one banjo. So, so at what point, what point do you just gotta say, bro? That SpongeBob episode. Um, I really liked the, uh, the one where um, SpongeBob and Patrick get uh, trapped in Sandy's place during, throughout the winter. I don't believe in the death penalty, but... <laughs> yeah, the only thing to fear is evil Carl. Fucking evil Carl, dude. <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. Who you calling Pinhead? <laughs> yeah, it's so good. That episode's just fucking genius. Who, yeah, who is the dirtiest Dan? Yeah, which one of you guys is the real dirty Dan? Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know a pretty dirty. I am so excited for the stretch break. You have no idea. I'm fucking... I'm fucking frothing at the dick over this... over this stretch break. I'm gonna wake the fuck up here. Ugh. Oh, bring it. Oh, I see it. Alright guys, get ready. We're doing the stretch. Everyone stretch with me. It's healthy. It's a long run. You've been sitting down for a while. Time to get up and stretch! Alrighty. Uh, we get the notes later. It's just helps me keep count. Yeah, you gotta get up and stretch every once in a while, man. It feels good. Like, I mean, it feels like you don't want to when you're when you're sitting, but when you do it, you get up, stretch out your legs, you, you just feel so much better. Is mayonnaise an instrument? It indeed is. And I'm gonna prove it to you guys. You had a treadmill yesterday? I have a I have an elliptical, but I wish wish I wish we had a treadmill. Play Megalovania on, on mayonnaise. It was, uh, 
I, I had an idea to do that um, from one of the uh, questions in the Q&A, so I might do that for a Jules Conroy video. Megalovania on mayonnaise. How were you at cross country? It was pretty bad. I didn't really do it to race. I did it because like I, I really enjoyed um, just running for a reason instead of just running for no reason. I would love a shamisen. Shamisens are so cool. I just liked I liked the fact that I was running for a purpose rather than just running for my own health. It's really it's really bad when you have the the very little self worth of a teenager and feel like you have to exercise for that. <laughs> when you're a teenager and you fucking hate yourself because every teenager fucking hates themselves for the most part. Um, having to feel like you have to do that. Favorite music in the game? Probably Click Clockwood. Fuck. Yeah. Don't you hate yourself? That's very sad. Alright. <laughs> Gotta learn to love yourself, guys. It's important. It's hard to love yourself in this day and age. We're not we're not fucking taught to do so. You know, we're not like it, it's not looked highly like to, you know, like yourself in any way. So we're, we're really, really like conditioned to, to hate yourself. And there is a, like because, you know, you don't because everyone's like, oh, you don't want to be a cocky piece of shit. Right. So it's like, OK, well, then you go the opposite way because everybody who's a fucking asshole in your life is a cocky fucking piece of shit. You know, they're always like full, like full of themselves and fucking, you know, puts you down. And I mean, what happens is you don't keep that in check and then you go too far to the other side and you just fucking hate yourself. And that's so many people. Loving yourself isn't cocky. There's a balance. There's a balance as there is with everything. But I feel like when you don't know where those lines are, you just you, you see that one side of it, and you're like, that is as far, far away as I want to go. And honestly, like I I think that there is some like political drive behind you know why some people are the way that they are. Like I I would go so far as to say that like if in the beginning you are you get bullied a lot and you you know you tend to see like people who are fucking cocky like those guys are the people that are are pieces of shit and they need to be fucking kept in check. You're probably more likely to be liberal or more you know left leaning in general. But if you see people who are lower lower and you know. You're just like, wow, why can't they just fucking, you know, like, how, how do they get there? And why, why don't they do something about it? Oh, we're going to fail this, but I'll give it a try. I'll still give it my best shot. Holy fuck, I did it. Somehow I still made it. Oh my god, and then I fucking did that. I'm such a, such a fucking smooth brain. <sighs> yeah, the, the people have donated the 2B bits. Yeah, see, that's 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 all I, like, I'll do is, like, when I'm fucking focused right now, I'll do, like, really good shit, but then I'll look away for just one second and we'll all be over. It sucks. It just sucks because, like, these, these fucking uh, flags are so weird. Like, sometimes you can go right through them. Like, like see that? It didn't, it didn't even fucking go. And like sometimes like usually I like to try to hit it from the corner the sides here like that that sometimes doesn't work like how I how I kind of like went like to the side of him but it's all right yeah we get we get the loss early in the race and this did happen in the PB I'm pretty sure what's up game bros fairly certain we lost in the in that in that same spot in the PB so we're probably not gonna lose a lot of time but that would have been a nice time save I don't know Oh my fucking god, dude. Some leftover bits from the Marnie Dono earlier. <laughs> Thank you, Lagging Lagoon. I appreciate it. 
how do you identify cocky somebody that just fucking you know says like i'm the shit i'm i'm the best and like you know like ignores all of the fucking failures just so that they can fucking you know like whenever they fail like they just ignore it and they're like no i'm the best I, you know and just full of themselves not you know not out for anybody else other than themselves stuff like that Yeah, we grab the note. <laughs> I'm the best! Yeah. Okay, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's... Yeah, I think, yeah, pretty much just like a, a, a feeling of superiority over other people. And like, nobody wants to be that because nobody likes that. I mean, usually human beings want other human beings to like, like you, typically. More times than not. So... You're taught very early that that is a good way of not making that happen. But what if they are the best? Then you fucking... No, it's a good question. What if you are the best? How do you deal with that? I think the people who are the best have a responsibility to use the position that they're in to help others up. Because at the end of the day, the universe is not fucking about you, you know? And sometimes if you are in a situation where you're the best or whatever, you know, it's easy to forget that. But... I mean, again, whenever you guys ask me what the fucking meaning of life is, and I, my answer is always the same. I think we should leave this universe, you know, like our, our existence should leave this universe in a way that leaves it more positive than we, we arrived. And so far, we're doing a pretty shit job of that. Um, and I think the people in power have a responsibility to help everybody up and make the right decisions. Anyway, what I was saying before the boggy race, I, I I feel like the like people who are you know get like the people who like are the what made it hard for people to you know um, like like it's tough because like I I feel like uh, people who are more likely to to end up becoming like kind of liberal or left leaning are the people who were like bullied and were wronged by people who are like above them, um, whereas people who you know are more likely to be you know, uh, inconvenienced by people below them. So, you know, people who, you know, are, uh, you know, uh, see like infrastructure issues, you know, like are, are exposed to like crime by homeless, you know, or, you know, all sorts of stuff are probably more likely to be right wing and stuff. And there, I think on both sides, there's something to say about both sides, you know, and that's why I just like, I'm always just kind of like, I hate talking about politics because like, I just wish people didn't subscribe 100% one way or the other, you know? But it's complicated. It's it's too much to ask for people to be like, I have some ideas here, I have some ideas here, you know? Um, I think it's, it's, you know, and like, the, especially in a time when like the most extreme, like, the most extreme voices of each side are the ones that people are paying attention to, you know? I think that's, it's too bad. Yeah, both sides are right and wrong, I agree. Good camera. But I mean, I'm 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 always a very I'm always very very much like of the same thing where it's just like Always just fucking sympathize with everybody, you know? It might be easy for people on the right to fucking shit on the left, and it might be easy for people on the left to shit on the right, but dude, like, everyone's human, everyone has different experiences, and everybody's, you know, right, and everybody's wrong on a lot of things, and if we just listen to each other, we'll be able to, like, we'll be able to lift each other up. And I mean, I know it's not as easy as just that, obviously, but I just think at least we can move in that direction. But don't take it from a Banjo-Kazooie speedrunner. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I'm usually not too worried about the banjo race. It's the first one. Which, uh, which Nintendo leaks? Let's try to change subjects. I don't, I, I don't think that, I think it's important to, to, to have, like, you know, things like that close on a good note, though. I don't really like being like, guys, can we not, can we just, can we just stop talking about it? You know, I just, I don't think that that's the way to go about it. Sounds like you're a centrist. I mean, I feel, I pro I think I personally, like, if, if you were to, like, really label me, I probably, I'm probably a little left of center, personally. Um, just, like, the way where all of my beliefs go, but I'm, I'm annoyed by both sides, honestly, and, and centrist. Like, I, I don't, I don't agree that you should just fucking sit on the fucking fence and do nothing, which I think a lot of centrists do. Yeah, I only have opinions on the left and right. 100%. 100% or nothing! Or nothing! <laughs> and there's some things to be said about being in the right place and time to discuss things. Yeah, I think so. But I also think that um, there's some things that are important to think about. Uh, especially, like, getting information from places that you normally wouldn't sometimes makes things stick better. But yeah. What are your titles you're most proud of having? Uh, doorbell Guy, Cadence of Hyrule Guitarist, THPS2, All Goals and Golds World Record Holder. Probably Cadence of Hyrule Guitarist, if anything. Well, there's so many people that also just don't know. They get overwhelmed by this stuff, and it shouldn't be overwhelming. I, I just, I also want to encourage people to, like, not be overwhelmed by politics, but also be respectful about politics. Yeah, you shouldn't be apolitical, but like, there is a time and place. I but I, I like bringing it up every once in a while, just to be like, hey guys, you know, have opinions about the stuff that you want to have opinions about. Don't let other people make opinions for you. Have your own voice because you're you're your own person, and be respectful to everybody. You know, I I just I I think nothing good can come from being being you know disrespectful and if somebody's disrespectful to you then i mean the best thing you can do is just fucking stare at them and you know just be like you know i don't know who fucking hurt you man but you know you just fucking walk away and let him fucking or her do her shit is it possibly an extremist and respectable i think so probably my opinion on Banjo Tooie. I thought I think they kind of went overboard with Banjo Tooie. I think this was such a good scope for all the worlds, but and I think that they just tried to do Banjo Kazooie but bigger, but ended up making it Banjo Kazooie but bigger but emptier. Um, it didn't feel as like yeah. <laughs> See, that's not very respectful though. Nine Tails. I don't think that that's a very respectful way to deal with it. Tend to be extremely left, but I try to be chill about it. Yeah. And that's fine, you know. I think every like it's important to remember that everybody comes from different places. So one person's right could be another person's wrong. Um, but again, I think if we're just just I, I try to base everything from like a like kind of a uh, an outward in kind of uh, practice of like all right, you know, let's just fucking make positivity because humanity just feels so inherently negative all the time we're just doing so many negative things with war and fucking you know pedophilia and just absolute fucking turbo negative energy like what can we do to fucking turn that around and just balance it out because i think there should be some chaos for, for, for sure i think there should be negativity there should be chaos there should be you know i think i think it shouldn't be all fucking you know bed of roses you know should be some pain every once in a while but we got we got a little too much right now got a little too much Yeah, I just like, you know, we don't have to go into the specifics about pl politics and stuff. I just, my main point is I want you guys to be confident with your own beliefs and to be your own people and, and, and actively seek out to be educated and respectful for people, if possible. Come 
Toxic positivity. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's the other thing with just like, I mean, everybody has a, you know, a different, different hand of cards. Some people have it way rougher than other people and you gotta accept that. So, yeah. I don't know, just... I hope I can, I hope I can instill goodness in all of you guys. Yeah. I, I, I pretty much agree, Luck. I don't want to, I don't want to have to rely on the government for a lot of things, too. Oh, thank you so much, Lumistar. Had to drop some bits for the great red streamer battle today, though I can't help but laugh. At the fact that I open up the stream with you welcoming Discord and Chaos. <laughs> JK, much love to you. Let's get that sweet peanut butter. Well, I mean, like, as far as, you know, when, when I talk about chaos, I don't mean, like, fucking, like, burning in the streets and fucking anarchy and shit. I'm talking about just, like, you know. Too much order is not good. <laughs> We've seen what happens with countries with too much order. And we can... We know... <laughs> what happens with too much chaos, <laughs> obviously, so... Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we just need a war. No. Never need a war. But... <laughs> I always think about that with, like, you know, people who, like, are into just, like, really kinky, like, pain sex and shit. Like, do they just have so much order in their lives that they just, like, oh, I just want to be fucking stepped on. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a sub, so I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a, I don't have a pain fetish. Actually, yes. Sick. I cannot armpit fart. Show feet. I'm um, good. Show feet. Show feet. Show feet. I can't show feet, dude. I'm speed running. My 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 feet are busy running. I don't think showing feet is against TOS. Maybe like underage feet or something. If you're under the age of 18, you can't show your feet or something. It is? Oh shit. Well, yeah. I guess this is kind of like, that is also just like a weird like, um, fuck you, bitch. Thing to have to try to enforce too. Like, you can show your feet only if you're above the age of 18. All right. For sure, can't show feet. I didn't know that. When did they install that? Show hands. My f yeah, my feet are underage. Everything else on my body is 30, but my feet are 12. What the fuck? I just, I just think it's crazy how fast we've whiplashed from, like, the 90s, where it was just, like, if you're underage, like... You don't, you can't even fucking go, you can't even go on, like, more sites than, like, three, because your mom has fucking AOL blocked you from everything, you know, um, to now where, like, underage kids can just, like, fucking stream themselves talking about anything, it, it's, it's wild, like, it, it, I just, I don't know. I really hope that we have like some some things that change in the future. Um but I don't know. I just feel like it's too easy for sick motherfuckers to get the shit they're looking for. Oh, 
I just think, like, I don't think that there should be, like, a fucking, like, KIDS SHOULD NOT BE ON THE INTERNET! Blah, 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 blah. I just think that, like, come on, we, we've got to... F Someone's got to have a better idea. I don't have it, but, like, of a way to protect... <laughs> protect people. I was watching this thing where, um... I think it was actually the last, uh, Joe Rogan, maybe, where David Cho was talking about how, like... One second, I'm gonna... Um, well, it's weird that, like, when they were kids, so, so he was talking about the difference between two generations that I was in the middle of. When, when they were kids, the first porn they ever saw was, like, it was, like, a fucking magazine that, that, you know, their uncle or their dad or, or, or something, like, left somewhere and you found it and it was like, oh my god, what is this? You know, and your fucking body sets on fire and shit and, like, you know, and you're just, like, everything's, like, crazy and it's just like, and it's just like fucking pictures, you know? It's just like a vagina, you know? It's not like anything crazy. And then like, and then like many, many years down the road, you somehow acquire a VH VHS tape of like, you know, maybe a little penetration. Yeah, an old VHS porn tape. And then that's fucking insane, you know? Like, holy fuck, I can't believe this shit exists, you know? And just, and like for, for like somebody that, you know, but for them, it's like usually like, you know, they're teenagers when they see that, that stuff, you know? Well, yeah, well, the thing is, is now, like, so many people of the, of, like, the Zoomer generation will talk about how their first experiences, they were on YouTube, and then they were just kind of, you know, they were left on YouTube on their iPad, because everyone's got a fucking iPad, um, and the parent walked away for, like, a few seconds, and they just kind of was just clicking through videos, and then anal sex, bam, that's your first fucking experience. Like, fucking, you know... Spider-Man fucking Elsa in the butt. Like, that's your first experience. Not, like, a picture. It's fucked up. Yeah. Like, that's your first one? It's- it, it's- it's so fucking damaging. I- I just- Oh, wait, fuck. Did I- Did I- Oh, I, I don't think I hit this one. Yeah, it, and it's like, just think about, like, all the problems that would- that would cause. Yeah, it's shock trauma. And then, like, not only, like, what it would cause, but then, like, if you develop some kind of a porn addiction later on, like, how the fuck do you deal with that? It's on, like, such a bigger scale now. And it's, like, the fucking dragon you're chasing, because every addiction is, like, chasing a fucking dragon. I, I mean, I've never been addicted to porn as much as I know, um, but I've never felt like, oh, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to catch some, you know, I'm ca trying to catch some feeling that I had, like, early on. You know, like, a lot of drug addicts, it's all about, like, chasing that first, the first hit you ever got. Um, it's just like, dude, I cannot imagine, like, how we're gonna be able to, how we're gonna be able to deal with these people who are, are really, really fucked up now, you know, probably. Um, but I was in the middle of that, you know, like, I, I was, you know, my first experience with it was I was, like, mine was, mine was pretty fucked up. Like, I, I think I, I, I was very young, and I think, um, I was on AOL. And yeah, it's so readily available. You give you give a you give a kid a phone, that kid's got everything, everything, um, like available to them. You know, um, no, the keys don't actually play notes. It's a big conspiracy. Second, let me focus on killing this guy. You're always talking about sex? It's luck. We were just talking about politics for a while. <laughs> Omegle? Oh, yeah, dude. Fucking Omegle? Holy shit. Yeah, like, I remember there was a girl I dated in high school who had a younger sister who was, uh, like, four years younger than we were. So she wasn't even in high school yet. And she was, she was like, addicted to Omegle. And, like, you know, she's like, haha, look. And, the, like, there's just, like, there's literally, like, just fucking dudes, like, on there just jerking it, you know? Like, holy fuck. <laughs> It's, it's, it's wild. It's fucking wild, dude. I just, I, I can't imagine, like, how it's, like, because I, I, I think it's, I think it's, you know, kids need to be educated about this stuff before they, before they're exposed to it. Otherwise, I think it causes some, causes some serious issues for later in life. It might not feel bad when you're a kid, but it really starts affecting the way at which you understand how these things are supposed to work. And that's, you know, something that I never, I never really understood. Like my, my first experience was, yeah, I was on AOL and then, you know, my mom walked away and then I found myself on some fucking pissing fetish website somehow. Um, and that was my first experience. <laughs> Three, 
It's crazy shit, man. Good job, that was a test. <laughs> oh yeah, Grammy, you're talking about like fucking Jake Paul, like with the the Riley Reed fucking thumbnail where she's like, I got a porn star to strip tease my fuck yeah, it's like fuck. I learned about squirting because I couldn't spell squirtle. Oof. Damn, it feels bad. I, I probably found my video based on something relating to Pokemon too, because I think I was in that phase of my life, like just discovering Pokemon. But yeah, it's it like you know. I, I think I think the the worst thing too is like I think a lot of people get repressed with this stuff and they don't deal with it, you know. So. It's something that's good to, at some point, just be like, all right. <laughs> Please don't link butt.com, Jesus. Oh yeah, DeviantArt. Yeah, you're just checking out some fucking, checking out some, you know, cool art of your favorite video game characters and then, oops. Yeah, it's just so easy now and it's just, I don't know. I, I do, I like, I mean, maybe I'm a boomer, but like, I used to be the kind of, I used to be the kind of kid that was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm mature. I think I'm mature. Like, I can deal with this shit, you know, like. This isn't har this isn't harming me. What's up, uh, that girl Gracie? Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Um, yeah, like I think I'm mature. I think I could deal with this. This is fine. But no, I, I like you don't realize it until you're like years down the road and you're just like, wait a minute, that's not how this works. Like it's 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 crazy because you think you understand everything when you're a kid and a teenager. You think you you have the you have the fucking <laughs> when you're when you're a teenager you're like I remember when I didn't know anything and now I do. Now I do know everything, because then I didn't know everything. Call, thank you so much for the three months. But yeah. Disc only raid, but not really. Thanks guys. I hope disc only was sick. My brother Luigi now to tell you a whole heap of a spaghetti pile of information. Hello, Mario. How was disc only? Was it good? Thanks everybody for for the subs. Continuing your subs and everything. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for a ton job for the host. Ooh, two minutes. There's talk about stabbing, so we've been talking about discovering porn at too early an age. So. Now Jules is hosting. Oh, weird. Love your shirt. Thank you, golf guy. Oh, you got Jules and Johnson. I, I was just like, okay, are we not live anymore? <laughs> are we just hosting John? <laughs> Sorry, we're both J names. Jules, Jack, Jared, John. It's, it's too many. You sound tired. Thank you. I'm yeah, I'm self-hosting. I'm I'm hosting family Jules right now. Fuck it. Fuck that run, man. Here's a my brother Luigi now to tell you a whole heap of a spaghetti pile of information. Hello, Mario. You know what it was? I was dehydrated. Hmm. The second that water touched my lips, I realized it. <laughs> I I I thought I was I thought I was drinking more water. I guess I wasn't. Had the race, we won, but it was a pretty it was pretty rough on both both racers. So I'm moving on. How are you guys doing? Learned that Jared has an allergy to apples. I think I knew that. I, I believe I knew that. Let me guess. Was John like, "How do you have an allergy to apples?" <laughs> it's my John impression. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's sick. <laughs> I like how half of you guys are like, no, how could you say that? And the other one's like, yeah, that's perfectly what he said. <laughs> he was like, apples? <laughs> anyway, thanks guys so much for coming over. We are uh, speedrunning Banjo-Kazooie. Um, trying, to, trying to beat this game in under two hours and 20 minutes. Get everything in the game that aren't stop and swap items. But yeah. Your version of John is like always angry and loud, which is funny because he's usually just like chill and 
calm. Unless, like, something's really pissing them off. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh. Uh, yeah, we don't get mumbo tokens. Mumbo tokens are, are considered stop and swap items. How many practice runs have you done? Uh, this is the first run of the day. Alright, so we've got a minute and a half of time save here. So as long as this is tight and we don't make any terrible mistakes, we'll, we'll save time. I'm gonna do slow strats. Whoa! I thought he was gonna get me. Good shit. Yeah, I like John. Which version are you playing? Banjo Kazooie. You mean like the number? I don't know. I don't know the uh, the actual version number. Or do you mean like N64 emulator or 360? I'm playing N64. Gotcha. You're from Disc Only. Sick. Well, I'm glad Disc Only is going well. It's pretty hype. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to listen to it later. Uh, that one, we're trying to go for that one, I think. <sighs> I think I fucked it up. Damn it. I probably shouldn't have jumped. I should have waited until the cutscene went away before jumping down. How's the Banjo God been treating you, huh? Not super great, honestly, but we're, uh... We're making it work. We're in kind of a valley right now, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks for Outlet Squad. It was a lot of fun. If you guys don't know, I uh, released a, uh, a Origami King cover uh, with um, uh, Insane in the Rain music came out today we did the red streamer battle theme which is so far in the game my favorite battle theme um autumn autumn mountain's good but that one the red streamer battle is just it, it it's just it just fucking slaps um and like it's just such a strong arrangement um rashad eb just did uh the autumn autumn uh mountain battle and it came out really good so you guys should check it out how far am i uh i'm, I'm working on purple streamer right now um so far i think one of my favorite songs in the game is uh swift at city slash uh, uh, Shroom City. It's really good. <laughs> Whose house we would break into? What the fuck? Oh, did Shady Cicada do Autumn Battle? Sick. It's a good song. Yes, it is a banger. Disco Devil is sick. Uh, sometimes that works. <laughs> I feel like that's such a scary thing to talk about. Like, who who would break in? Whose house would get broken into? I just, <laughs> I wouldn't ever want to like encourage that. <laughs> but hell yeah, it, it's it's good. It's good. It's good data. It's definitely good data to have for sure. I'm giving you hell. I'm sorry to hear that. Do I lock it? Yes, we we actually have auto locking doors. So like our doors our doors are always locked no matter what. Like if, if we get left outside, we have to like text somebody to let us in. <laughs> We're very protective. Ah, you bitch. What if we get locked out? What if we all get locked out? Well, there's so many people in, in in the house that it almost never happens. If we all get locked out, we'll just probably have to have Corey break a window or something. <sighs> I'd rather pay for a window broken than <laughs> somebody forget to lock the door and then, you know, we get fucking ransacked. Yeah, we gotta patch. We gotta we gotta protect Patrick and the doorbell. You know they're coming for Patrick and the doorbell. What's up, Westford? What did I walk in on? <laughs> what did I walk in on? <laughs> Do I like hash browns? I like hash browns. John doesn't. 
you you guys i i just i do love that we're just gaining all of the most like use useless information like like some podcasts talk about fucking like politics or maybe like music production or they talk about stories we talk about john's dislike for hash browns and jared's allergy to apples can confirm breaking into your own house sucks yeah but you would be the most successful at it like you would know all of the the secrets of your own house no one would be better at breaking into your own house than you so you do have that going for you this is yeah i mean technically this is a oh wait i forgot to fucking beak barge that's stupid Uh, previous owner, yeah, that's true. Any video game crushes? Yuna? Glad you enjoyed the joke I posted under your new cover today, MCG Sassy. What was it? I can't even remember at this point. I, I So I woke up, like, in the middle of my REM cycle today to fucking promote the new video, and, like, yeah, it was... Not poggers. Damn, that was perfect. My mods are fucking ruthless, are they? <laughs> I'd hate to explain why I'm breaking into my own house. Oh, Red Street. Yeah, I forgot. We've been making so many jokes about that. Yeah, Red Streamer. I thought you were a Twitch streamer. I, I did like that. That was very good. You're very good, Cole. I wasn't I wasn't really a fan of Tifa. I was more of um an Aerith Aeris Aerith guy. So would say so. I got no, you got banned for ten minutes because you said butt.com. You made a link, which is against the rules, grumplet. Don't tell my fucking mods are rootlet. Don't fucking don't fucking come to daddy. Like, daddy, mom is being mean to me. <laughs> You posted a fucking link to butt.com. You literally posted porn. Not only did you break my rules, you broke the TOS of fucking Twitch, so don't fucking give me that shit. Oh, yeah, I know. Alpharad's Alpha, Alpha, Alpha in shambles. <laughs> I want Tifa to stop on my balls. I, you know, honestly, I... I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I would prefer if Aerith would stomp on my balls. That's all I'm saying. I know, I know. You're good. You're good. You're good. Butt.com is a website. How, how can you not... You have to You have to be fucking... Come on. Come on. Come on. You know butt.com is a website. Don't even play dumb. You just didn't think. It's fine. Now that... Now that I know your intention, you know, I'm glad I know your intention. Sometimes intentions aren't aren't good. You won't get banned for posting porn, which would literally get my channel banned. If they're like, "Oh wow, this streamer is encouraging Twitch st streamers to, or Twitch viewers to post porn in the chat message," you know, it could be as fucking simple as that, man. Bite.gov. Well, I'm a man of no taste because I want Aerith to step on my nuts. That is a very specific taste, friend. It might not be your taste, but you can't say it isn't a taste. That is very much a taste. Ooh. No, come on. Like, saved it, lost it, saved it. Come on, I hate this. I hate doing this. This is like my least favorite thing. Hell yeah, we got it. Got it like second try. Cloud is the best girl. Yeah. I honestly wasn't really a huge fan of uh, FF7 as a kid. I liked um, 8 a lot more. And dude, Renoa. You know it.
Ah, just barely. My maze. Wait a minute, Banjo. You gotta do my maze. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna speedrun Bomberman 64 after Banjo. After we get the sub 220. Ekum Bokum. Woohoo! Straight to the bottom. Just like fucking, just like Jack Dawson from Titanic. He went straight to the fucking bottom. Wait, Cole, what are you guys talking about? Sorry, my, my, my chat's moving too fast. My favorite Pokemon? I really like Geodude. <laughs> wow, too soon. Jeff vs. Gemini is too long a run. I would love to if the run was shorter, but that, that run is fucking insane. Maybe just, just maybe just for fun. Really? I really want to learn the uh, I really want to learn Ocarina of Time before I do the randomizer. On the mouth sounds you made a minute minute ago. Dude, I got like heavy compressor on that shit. You're probably hearing every smack. Every fucking every little saliva in my mouth right now. Oh my god. It doesn't even sound that bad on my end, but I'm sure it sounds horrible to you guys. Majora's Mask would be fun to run for sure. Got it. Whew, that was close. Listen, I'm just telling you how it is. If you don't, if you don't like it, then listen. This is my freedom of speech. <laughs> this is my freedom of spit. <laughs> Four, we can do it. Holy shit, we're gonna save a lot of fucking time here. Oh, not if I can't get the fucking note, though. died oh no what are we gonna do oh god fuck frick heck good shit <laughs> oh man heck gosh darn we died in Banjo-Kazooie, the one thing you should never do. <sighs> A good Rusty Bucket Bay will pull this into an insane time. What's my banned words list? I'm not gonna fucking tell you. <laughs> it's true. What happened in Bubble Gloop? A lot of really small mistakes happened in Bubble Gloop. Like, nothing really, like, overall bad, just, just small, small things. It's actually more Clanker. Clanker is where it started falling apart. Bubble Gloop was pretty much on the, on, on par. Lost maybe, like, 30 seconds there. Spider J Link, I don't know what you were talking about. So KTFS? <laughs> no, yeah, that's second, some minutes. Yeah, I should ban uh, Chugga Conroy and uh, <laughs> and uh, Alpha Rad since they're both canceled. All right, let's have a good rusty bucket bay. We can get through uh, if we if we can get through engine room like with no problems, 
Um, I'm good. How did Evan Meal get canceled? Because he stole my name. My name's actually my name's actually Jules Conroy. My last name's actually Conroy. His name is not. He stole my name, so I canceled him for that. Alpharad's canceled because he fucking time traveled in Animal Crossing. Ow! I walked right into him. You just don't fucking do that shit, man. The ultimate sin, yeah. Think you can just time travel and get away with it? He thought so. Even though the dev doesn't get so- oh, here we go! Here we go. Do you think the developer would make fucking a huge portion of their gamer base think that they were cheating? No, but they didn't design the game for you to leave the game and then change the fucking parameters that the game is reading, you know, like a fucking game shark to give you an advantage on the game, you know, over the other people who are playing it fairly. It is cheating. The devs aren't going to tell you it's cheating, but it is. It's not the way that the game was intended to be played. Otherwise, you would be able to change the... Oh, wow, I'm stupid. Otherwise, you'd be able to change it. Hi, Jimmy. What's up, bro? Jimmy, do you think time travels? Oh, yeah, dude. He really thinks time traveling is cheating. So when Jimmy says it, man, I'm sorry. It's all fucking over. I didn't start it. Somebody else fucking brought it up. That's all I'm going to say. You can't fucking, you can't, you can't, you can't break down that argument. The devs aren't going to say it's cheating because that's going to alienate their own crowd. I don't need no fucking roll. Still got through. Yeah, Jimmy's like, what the fuck? I'm from 1998. Animal Crossing? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Animal Crossing 1 still hasn't come out. He's just stuck in time, dude. Hell yeah. All right. As long as we don't die. How, how literally fuck did you not just die? Really, really, really good, uh... Uh, good manipulation of iframes there, I suppose. Really good clip. Last night I was so smooth-brained, I hit that button. <laughs> it was so fucking bad. Uh, since we're doing really well, I'm gonna grab this mumbo token. And then... Grab these notes. Usually I don't want to grab that mumbo token since we're on a timer, but we're literally like fucking flying right now. Clipping is cheating, it's true. Listen, I'm cheating, but it's part of the speed run. I'm not cheating for the speed run. Cheating would be using a game shark. Or like the Everdrive. <sighs> I'm I'm playing by the rules of the speedrun, bruh. No, don't go back in there. You himbo of a bear. Yeah, so that was like literally perfect. That whole section was could not be better. Okay, that could have been better. I don't know which ever drive I have. It's the the one with the fucking planet on the front of it. I only use it for the practice file for Banjo though. Why is the ever drive cheating? Cause it's essentially like a super game shark, because you can do like ROM hacks and stuff on it, so you can do really crazy shit with it. Oh, what did Everdrive do to you? I read that too fast because I'm focusing on the speedrun. Like I said, my, my fucking defense is that when I speedrun, I really have to, like... <laughs> I kind of have to read a sentence very quickly, like, and just grab the words, and then I look, I look over at the run and I start doing shit, and then I construct it in my head. <laughs> and then I'm just like, okay, what, what did that sentence say? And then I give it my best go every time. Every time. And I'm usually right. Just read chat better. If I, the better I read chat, the worse I speed run. And honestly, you guys aren't that important. I'm sorry. I love you guys, but not that much. Just, just a little bit. Read chat faster. I read it pretty fast. Like you guys see, when I turn to chat, I read like three messages at once, typically. I, I mean, read with big air quotes. 
but there's a lot of time where I'm, I'm going in like a straight line so I and I know like what's in front of me so I can like I can kind of like just be like okay as long as I don't fucking do something dumb or something jumps out at me I'll be fine usually nothing jumps out at me just stop playing the game oh my god see that's the best idea I've heard all night just stop playing the fucking game my favorite song from this game probably click clock wood I love that song Oh, I'm really engaged. I'm engaged with my chat a lot, so I feel like my chat usually moves faster for, for the for the viewer count. Uh, I need to be on the other one. I think it's so rad that we got new banjo kazooie music, you know, like what, 20 years later? Because of Smash. It's fucking rad. 22 years, technically, right? Well, no, actually, that came out last year, so that would have been 21. I deserved that. I've been a bad, naughty boy. But nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts is cool. I haven't played it, but I, I hear it's pretty good. All you have to do is turn on slow mode. Yeah. <laughs> Five minute cooldown. Yes, please. Great chat experience. What's up, our shadow? How you doing? I don't know. I, I like being able to, like, when people come in and just say, like, hey, what's up? And I like being able to say, hey, how you doing? You know? Fuck. I'm just gonna let him blow up. Don't have to worry about him. But we are definitely very low on health. Really upset me when I bought it on launch day. I'm gonna give you a hint on how to enjoy games more. Stop having high expectations for games. Specifically, don't have unrealistic ex expectations for games. Like, don't expect you know, a game like that to be exactly like the fucking game you played as a kid. You can still enjoy things, yeah, for what they are, exactly, but... But it, if you give games unrealistic expectations, you're just gonna let yourself down every time. It's hard, it, you know, it, it's definitely like a challenge to be able to like... Where is he? Where are you, bitch? Right, I'm gonna take your, you're gonna take your lifeblood. And I'm gonna siphon your lifeblood as well, sir. Oh shit, what are you doing? What are you doing in the corner? Are you jerking off? You fucking jerking off? Come here. Come here, bitch. No, 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 no. Not on God's watch. Hair will grow on your fists, or your, your palms. I would know. I've got hairy palms. Very, very hairy palms. I look like a bear. Jimmy jerking it. Jimmy out there jerking it! You would- you would- You would choke the chicken on God's green earth? Hi. <sighs> what do we do? 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 How did I do that? How did that even happen? Mm. Fuck it. Uh, actually, I think we can, since we're going up there anyway, we can fly up this way. Yeah. I get no pussy. It's easier to get some when you turn water to wine. That's true. I mean, not really. I can't think of a single girl where if, like, you know, obviously you'd have to open with I am Jesus. Um, and even in that case, it's like, really? Like, really? Are you? Or, like, if they, they did believe you, like, dude, that is way too high maintenance. Most girls I know would just be like, listen, dude, that's fucking sick for you, but it's a little too heavy for me, man. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jesus. A little bit too much. A little bit too much of a commitment there. <laughs> Hello, Jesus. Yeah. I want to fuck sorry. 
That has no that has no um, punctuation in it. So I read that as I want to fuck the game the board game known as sorry. I want to fuck sorry. Like some rule 34 of like the fucking <laughs> step Jesus, what are you doing? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh god, yeah, that fuck, oh yeah, the fucking exclamation point. It's just a casual fuck. <laughs> we're not, we're not making it too fucking exciting. It's just, you know, just some afternoon delight, you know? Alright, hey guys. I'm taking your blood. I'm oh, sorry, it's a new kink, yeah. Sorry, sex. The only thing worse than that is breakup sex. Apology sex. It's like, listen, <laughs> everybody's relationship's different, but man, sometimes it's just like, Ugh, is that really the most healthiest thing for you? <laughs> is it? The answer's no, it's not. Always talk about sex during Rusty Bucket Bay. The same reason we always talk about autism during Gobi's Valley. There's just something there. There's just something there. I would fuck sorry, waifu. I feel like the more more common question is why do we always talk about sex during a family jewel stream? I like having new educated discussions about sex, but not like the same shit all the time. You know? I think it's interesting. I like talking about interesting subjects and then and all the fucking 14 year olds in my chat decide to take it too far and say Blumpkin every other word. Somebody during the race yesterday said my chat and my stream is obnoxious. Hurt my feelings a little bit. I'm 15. There's my point. But whatever. Kind of at a point where I can't really care about what other people think of it. I am obnoxious. Yeah. It's okay. I feel, I feel like you should exercise your right to be obnoxious. I'm nine, but okay. How is the stream obnoxious? I don't know. Compared to, like, a lot of other streamers where it's just chill and, like, you know, the chat is just like, a, yeah, we're all just hanging out and we're vibing, like... We, we, we kind of pop off, you know, and I'm, I'm very much a... I, I talk. I talk a lot. Chat, but we can be better. I don't know. I think you guys are pretty good. For what we are, I think you guys are fine. I don't... I don't... I don't think you guys need to change that much. And when you do, I tell you. I tell you guys, I tell you guys what, you need to, what you need to fucking stop doing. You know? Like, I, I feel like, for the most part... You guys are good. Damn, I was really hoping we would save time here. It's too bad. Yeah, I like real talk too. I'm very, I'm very introspective. I like to, you know, I like to think intuitively about things. And I like having a chat that also feels the same way. But I think what happens is, <clears throat> you know, th there's a definite, there's a definite, um, uh, there's definite gaps in just the level of just like maturity. You know, since there is a lot of jokes and stuff that go on, some people think that the the answer is just to say the first fucking thing that comes to your head and not think before you speak. And like that's, I, I don't think that you should be shamed for doing that. I just think you should be directed in a different way. You know, I don't think you should just, you know, there's people in chat that just like literally just say like the first funny thing that they think that will get a laugh or get some attention and stuff. And that's not the way to live life. But I mean, you know, I think everybody's at, everybody has that stage of life, and I'm sure that there's a lot of those people in my chat. And I just want to I just want to tell you, like, 
You don't have to worry about impressing me. You don't have to worry about impressing everybody else. You being you is fucking sick, because nobody else can be like you. And I think everybody has something interesting about them that I want to know, you know? So, don't have to worry about it. Do you believe in change? Oh, yeah. Not often. I don't think it's common. I don't think it's easy, but I think people can change for sure. I think people are changing all the time. It's just being able to control that, that rate of change is really difficult. Sometimes I don't know what's a joke and what's serious. Yeah, I definitely blur the line, but sometimes you can't, like, you can't tell a good joke unless you make it almost sound serious, you know? You can't be like, hey guys, Kappa, have you guys heard of butt sex? Kappa, you know? It's like, alright. Yeah, cancel culture doesn't believe in change. I think, I think the, 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 there's, there's two sides of cancel culture. There's the one side that's the good side of cancel culture, where you're removing these people who are bad for a community. You know, like if people need help, they need to leave the community. It's just it's just not good. Like if they're in a position where they're doing things like like, the, you know, that get them canceled, then then, yeah, they need to leave. Like, especially like a lot of the ones that have happened recently. I'm not going to I don't I do not want to get into specific names. But um, yeah, sometimes they sometimes for the betterment of the community and for everybody's comfort and for everybody to live their lives in a comfortable way. Some people need to leave the community because of the way that they behave. You know, and I think that that's important so that they can use that time to get the help that they need. Now, where cancel culture does not work is when you fucking dig up tweets from 2010 where it was funny to say curb stomp and say this fucking famous, you know, you know what I mean? It's just like shit from like way back and then you try to cancel them for that. I don't think that that's right. What would I do if I was being falsely canceled? I would probably just like release everything that I had based on the subject and just let let the world decide you know I wouldn't I would try not to like cut anything up I wouldn't I would try not to do anything like weird with it like no no uh nothing that could be taken out of context just release everything I had and just be like let's just let the fucking people of the internet decide what's real and what's not Like, Progerid, even Progerid, like, Progerid waited too long, you know? Like, I, I still think he, he had a lot of damage done to him, but he was in a really specific situation in which he needed to be really smart about his next few moves. And he was, but it took a very, very long time for him to do that. He did everything right, very slowly, and unfortunately, I don't know if there was another way he could have done that. No, I, I think everybody in that situation were rat bags, you know? I, I don't know. The rat bag is a really derogatory term. I think everybody was confused. At least at least Pro Jared was honest with the fact that I think I think Pro Jared is was just sexually repressed. You know, and a lot of the things he did, he did because he was very sexually repressed. And does that mean he's okay to do the things he did? No. But I think a lot of the things that he actually did, um, yeah, like I Okay, we're just gonna do that then. That's cool. Yes, my opinion is also that I'm mad that I saw his penis. I really didn't want to see that. I think having sex with your close friend's ex-wife is not on. I agree. That's a that's a very big breach of bro code for sure. But some people don't understand that, you know, because they're not put in those positions that they don't that they don't know that that's that's a good thing. I, I don't think like we should assume that Pro Jared knew all of this stuff. You know, that's something that's just like if you're around bros and you've had situations in which bros have done that, like you know that that's not cool. You never ever 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 fuck. You know, a friend's ex. It's just never a good idea. They are off limits forever. Yeah, do not boop the girl. But again, I literally said I don't want to talk about specific people and then the first thing you guys did was start talking about specific people. So, just pointing that out and also Yeah. <laughs> so you guys <laughs> come on. Anyway. Uh yeah, all that to say if I can Hold on. Let's see if I can get this. Fucking god, I missed. Come 
Come on. There we go. More hit. Okay. Please get the note. Fuck. Hi, big butt. Please do not fuck this up for me. I gotta get better at that, uh, that whole section there. Yeah, the clip was intentional. It's just a faster way to get out of there, so that we don't have to walk all the way to the beginning of the level. And then we can also replenish health, because if you if you void out, um, it saves notes. And then uh, if we void out and get a get a game over, it'll um, we'll we'll lose the life, but then gain all our health back. I had Taco Bell today? Yes, I had Taco Bell today. I can't even remember. First thing to order at Taco Bell, get like a, ta uh, like a soft taco supreme or something. I assume if you're a meat eater, because those are usually pretty good. Um, yeah, it was very tight. I, tofu needs to be cooked right, Luck. It, a lot of the time it's not, and it's it's tastes like fucking, like pencil like fucking pencil erasers but like if it's cooked right and like you know maybe with some like barbecue sauce it's fucking delicious <laughs> yeah i would say go into the fucking meme foods like the dorito t locos tacos bullshit like after you've kind of acclimated to taco bell's uh shit it was awesome oh hell yeah well that's good i feel like uh, tofu can really be fucked up if not prepared right Oh, uh, we are, we're, I'm gonna fucking kill Evil Carl so bad this time. Yeah, it does depend on what it's cooked in for sure. I would say so. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't know why they don't, they don't just take fucking Olive Garden's never-ending pasta and then just, like, bring that to Africa and feed all the starving kids. It's kind of just, I mean, am I the first person to think of that? Did I just have a fucking crazy, like, did I just solve world hunger? I'm pretty sure I just did. Yeah, paneer is so good. I love Indian food. Indian food is great. Yeah. Olive Garden is the single, like, only reason why world hunger exists because they won't make <laughs> they won't make their never-ending pasta available to the kids who need it this is my favorite i think this is one of my favorite jiggies to get now never had indian food i highly recommend it it's very spicy um and it's a very it's kind of an acquired taste and you kind of have to know what you're going for but for the most part it's fucking awesome <sighs> Oh my god, I overcorrected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I feel like, like, I, I, I keep feeling like I can get that. Because, like, if you land on a specific spot on him, you won't take damage. Fuck. Yeah, Chinese food is really good, too. Chinese food is tough because there's not a lot I can eat there. It's usually just like rice. <laughs> Yay, you can have rice. Oh, come on, dude. I'm trying to collect some health here. I am very low. You got really sick of it? Yeah. I feel like it's pretty easy to get sick of Indian food. Because like even though even though there's like a lot of different things, like there there is kind of just an overarching taste of Indian food. I feel like, like the spices like generally used and stuff are pretty, 
pretty uh common. All right, where are we going? Where are we dropping, boys? Let's grab some extra health just in case because this level is very scary. He's not evil Carl, but we'll kill him any- Oh my god, yeah, you're definitely fucking dead now, you bitch. Alright, I think I'm happy with that much health as long as we don't fall. Come on, dude! I literally was on that slope for fucking a millisecond. Oh, that, that's just fucking stupid, dude. All the stuff that I practiced, like, a lot just failed. Like, both that fucking jump and then the, the way I'm getting around those guys. That's so fucking annoying. How are these things even held up? I'm very... Very concerned for the physics. There we go. Probably just be a little bit more like, not not try to improvise with it too much, just, just go for it. That sucks, dude. Trees, they need something hanging them. They're just kind of like... <laughs> My girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. I fucked a girl who became the moon. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, how did that turn on? Did I have a fucking gold feather? Yeah, don't fuck the moon in the wrong hole. Yeah, I don't think I had one either. That was weird. Good split. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking get a perfect, perfect fall. <laughs> oh, I did get one on the walkways, so that's bad. <laughs> because now we need to get this one to- Get out of the wall! Get out of the wall! <laughs> I gotta get this one, too. Oh god, nice camera. I'll come back for you. You ever yell at your doorbell? Nah. Doorbell's not sentient yet. Fuck you, Banjo. Fuck you, Banjo. Fuck you. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck you. Fuck you, Banjo. What do you? Extra note. Hey. Fuck you. One of my favorite uh, things to say and um. When I was in music school. Was like I I, I really liked uh, positively uh, positively encouraging the other musicians because in music school you have a lot of elitism. Um, so what I'd be like, so whenever somebody would have a good performance, I'd be like, "Hey, fuck you! You did great! Fuck you! Fuck you! You did so good, dude! Fuck you, bro! Fuck you! You killed it out there! Fuck you!" So then, like, I started this thing. Or like everybody would just be like, hey, fuck you, you did awesome! Just screaming down the hall. Like, ah, oh, no, fuck you, you did awesome! Fuck you, you did awesome! <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> fuck you, you beautiful, you fucking went out there and you fu fucking fuck you, dude. Fuck you. It's fun. Yeah, you gotta have the Massachusetts accent. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I was gonna go get some fucking Duncan, but I came to see your fucking performance at fucking Berkeley, kid. I gotta get down to Harvard. Fuck. I saw your fucking performance and fuck, dude. Fuck you. It was great. Fuck. I am out of gold feathers. This is gonna hurt. 
Yeah, I mean, all music schools suffer from. I, I feel like most, most if not all, music schools are always going to suffer from elitism. Everybody just trying to impress each other. Everyone trying to just fucking whip out their music dicks and fucking be like, ooh, wave it around. Look at me. Justin Mass, dude. Massachusetts is going to die if they don't have their fucking Duncan kid. <gasps> what? My fucking beak was out. That was such bullshit. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't even fucking believe that just happened. Like, I was literally... That was that was fucking stupid. I I literally was doing a, a fucking beak shit. I I can't even blame myself for that. Like I can't even see I can't look at that and be like I fucked up. Like I want to. I want to know what I can do so that I can stop doing that in the future, but I literally was attacking that thing. You were in animation? I it doesn't really help me though. I don't know if I was in the animation and I was attacking towards him, which I was. The beak was out. I was attacking in this direction while he was out. He should die. Well, like, I was definitely in his hitbox, for sure, but... I don't know. I'm just running through this, even though we've already done it, just so that I make sure I don't miss notes again. Yeah, I, I honestly, like, that, that felt like some fucking bullshit to me, man. Jiggies of time? Is that a thing? What is Jiggies of time? Band oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I, I would love to play that. That'd be fun. I didn't know that that's what it was called. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably play Jiggies in Time after we get the uh, 220. Come on, dude. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I won't forget the beehive this time, Blue. Not after that. <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that was, that's that's the plan. Minus the quest sixty four. <laughs> we'll see how I feel at the time. Hey, who knows? By then, maybe Je the Jeff Force Gemini run will will have been optimized a little bit more, and it'll be a much more. Uh, viable thing to speedrun. Fuck those notes. How did I miss them? How did I even get up here without... I just, man... Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna do this right this time. Watch. This is how this is supposed to work. See that? You can just run, you can bounce off of him if you're on the right spot, and I thought it was on the right spot last time. But I was not. Alas. Mm -hmm. Leaves from the vine. I want, dude, I want Adriana to cover that so bad. Dude, that would fucking kill. Like, literally and figuratively. Welcome to the channel. Only jam inside anime girls. What's up, Danny B? How you doing, man? Jamming in anime girls? <laughs> 70 months? What the fuck? Father Jules is is my bum bucket. <laughs> Couldn't have said it any better than better myself. How 
How you doing this fine day, Danny? I think I, I, think I fucked something up, because we're supposed to do... Right, we're supposed to jo drop off the beehive. Did she already cover leaves on a vine? Leaves on the vine. All my honeys love jamming in anime girls. Sick. Leaves from the vine? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so happy that I'm now playing Banjo-Kazooie really badly for my dad. My dad, Danny B style. Dene, Daenerys. B style. Daddy, Daddy Banana. Donnie, Donnie Bronson style. Dene, Dene. Another dad. Danny is like one of my first dads, man. He, he's, he's my dad before Grant, before, before John, before Jack. How many dads do you have? I'm pretty sure like all, I think I've collected all of them at this point. She covered it back in 2012. Oh, I literally, I was like, D have you covered leaves from, a vine, from the vine? And she's just like, no. <laughs> I don't even think she remembers anymore like what song she's done. Oh yeah, all 151. Gotta catch them all, every dad. Give me the note, bitch. Danny Beast Isle. I remember when Danny was still in Seattle, I remember I texted him that I was, I could see the space needle and his response was something along the lines of like, I want your space needle. <laughs> and then gave me emojis of, I think space and a needle. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Me visiting Danny B style, D Danny Baranowski. Guys, if you guys don't know Danny Baranowski, you guys are lying and very funny. Hilarious, great joke, but Danny Baranowski, my dad, um, wrote the music to Crypt of the Necrodancer in Cadence of Hyrule. And also wanted my space needle. Pretty sure he also wanted to pee in my butt, but whether or not that happened will be for me to know and you to fanfic about. He is a magical man. Yes, he did Super Meat Boy. Correct. Throw, <laughs> throwing a space needle in the hallway. Hell yeah. Tight as fuck. <laughs> Dude, imagine just shoving a space needle in a fucking just <laughs> school hallway, man. Now that is tight and... A lot of cement for some reason, but fuck yeah, let's go. A lot of metal. Steel beams. Getting melted for that. Why make it weird? Dude, it's college hallway, man. Colleges are schools too, bro. Come on, don't you make it weird. You brought it there. You're the one who brought it there. I don't know if you remember that. Yes, if 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 your kid, if you want to go on Xbox Live and say, my dad, Family Jewels, works at Nintendo and will ban you. You technically are super wrong, but in a weird way, right? So I'm not going to encourage you to do it and I'll just leave it there. Not by jet fuel, of course not. This fucking asshole, again, he's, in, he's fucking invulnerable. What? Hey! You just killed the fucking invincible bird bitch! <laughs> I own Nintendo. Hey, what's up, Adam? Oh my god. Adam, how was your stream? Oh, <laughs> I just wanted the. I just wanted the Tonycomb! Birds are pretty fucking stupid. Dude, you've got shit luck this level. I know, man. I'm aware. <sighs> oh, 
Uncle Jules works at Nintendo with his dick. Official statement from Nintendo <laughs> Nintendo composer Danny B. Style. Yeah, to me, it was super fun. Hell yeah, dude. Space needle in a hallway. The Danny B. Style experience. What it feels like to... <laughs> What's the oh god? What's the five gum thing? The how it how it choose to f <laughs> how it choose to feel five gum gum gum. <laughs> how it choose to feel how it choose to feel yeah how it feels to chew five gum. But it's the, the other way around. It's like how to chew how it choose to feel five gum <laughs> gum gum. Or no how how it choose to how it choose to feel five feels. I think it was. <laughs> How it yeah, it's you guys gotta see it. Just, just search fucking gum gum or something. I don't fucking know. Gum gum. How it choose to feel five feels. Gum gum. <laughs> something about the way that he like whispers that one gets me every time. How it choose to gum five feels. That's what it is. <laughs> How it choose to gum five feels. Gum gum. How it jewels to fam my jewels. Simulate your senses. Do you mind if I put- th yeah, you, that's a YouTube link you can post. Definitely post that one. You have the perfect this summer movie trailer voice, thank you. It's a lot of compression. This summer, Danny B style shows a space needle down a hallway. No, fuck. No, fuck it. Alright, everyone get up and stretch. Or actually go watch that video. Oh, fuck. <sighs> this Mother's Day, protect your mother. Cause Family Jewels is coming. No idea why that didn't work. Oh, maybe I don't think I jumped right. I think I need to be in a talent trot jump. So, Ken and Ding Pa, how you doing, dude? How long did you work on Red Streamer? Like four seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna respect your mom so hard. Your mom's gonna be like, "Where's that Family Jewels boy? He was just, so, he was just so nice. He was just so, just so great. Bring that Family Jewels boy around again. He was just so good." Oh my god, here we go. Okay. As much as I'd love to die to a bunch of bees, can I please finish my fall split? Why can't you just be more like him? That family jewels boy, he's just always on about those plumpkins and those rusty trombones. I love that, I just love that. All right. He's such a sweetie. So knowledgeable. <laughs> yeah, the waffle stomps. Oh, I just love those waffle stomps. I just never knew it had a word, and I do it every day. Yeah, that was a good split. Fuck yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I uh, we're actually 12 minutes green. I, I switched around the, uh, the colors, so. If it looks like we're fucking, like, losing really badly, me. 
<laughs> me losing? Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. God damn it. <sighs> Why the comedy, man? Why the comedy? Why do we have to be comedic? It wasn't even for a bit. It wasn't even for the bit, man. It wasn't even for the bit. <laughs> Wasn't funny, didn't even laugh. I sure love Click Clockwood. It's a fun little split. Always will be. It's all right, it was just a practice run. We, we, never, we never reset. We don't reset here. Bad, bad, bad resetting. Okay. Let's just say blah, 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 blah. We did all that. And we'll do this. We will finish the run no matter what. Resetting is regretting. It's true. It's just like so many people like reset, like, and then wonder why, like, oh, why is it that every time I get to the end of the run... I have no idea what I'm doing. It's because you reset in the first five minutes every time. Uh, Duck is the one who pointed out like you should always play through your first run. Like especially for a run that's like long like this. I think it's it's very important because you, you're just gonna fucking forget all this shit. Like d imagine how hard this shit would be. We game over. I forgot. Thank you, Fred Fred Burger. You you were absolutely correct, and I did not read your message. I literally. I literally did not read your message in time. So. What time is it? 8.30? Oh, come on, don't go to bed. Come on, come on, bro. We still haven't even done the first run of the day yet. East Coast, bud, doesn't exist. I've never heard of it. Listen, I know it's real. I do. We have to base our logic on something real, and I can tell you what is real. Right now it is 8.35 p.m. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Yeah, no. time zones? Okay, yeah, sure. Pff, time is different in other places in the world. Okay, sure. Sounds like some fucking government conspiracy shit to make me fucking wrap my phone in aluminum foil or some garbage. <sighs> oh no, 5G is turning all of our times into different times. Okay, sure, cool. Oh, yo, does tin work better? Fuck, dude. I'm fucked. I got, dude, I, I've been, I've been, I've been feeling the 5G waves a lot lately, so it's probably why. All right, I'll tin foil it. Yeah, tin foil hat. Oh, fuck, it's tin foil. You're right. Dude, I, I would have known that, but the 5G waves, dude, they're just fucking me up. What the fuck, are you time traveling? No, dude. I'm in the real time. Are you time traveling? Maybe you've time traveled before you knew that you time traveled. Right? Maybe maybe you time traveled earlier than you... Before you decided that you would time travel so you don't remember you making the decision to time travel. Therefore, you've time traveled. Don't think you've time traveled, but you have. And you have to have because right now it's 8.30. And you can't tell me otherwise. That's just that's just facts and logic. Okay. I can prove that it's 8:30. Why can't I get this like consistent? There we go. There's a little like um like shake he did there that that kind of looks interesting. I wonder if that that little shake is like what I'm looking for.
Yeah, we are. We are. We're always time traveling. What would you do if Adrian time traveled? Um, I'd probably forgive her. Right after I broke up with her. Beak on beak action. See, we were trying to do that earlier. The whole reason this whole split fell apart was because we were trying to do that beak on beak action and then it all fell apart. What it meant to be with a bunch of B be a memory of the time I tried so hard to beak on beak. But in the end, it wasn't on fleek. Dude, I can't remember a time ever that on fleek wasn't the cringiest fucking thing ever. Like, I'm pretty sure. The day that on fleek was invented, it was already outdated. <laughs> like the second, the second it was like a thing. I don't, I don't remember a time where it wasn't, it wasn't fucking cringy to say that. <laughs> Stepbird, what are you doing? Stepbird, why is your beak out? Are you? Yeah. See, everyone says it like ironically, but that's the that's the first step to saying shit like that you were never gonna say. That's like fucking. Remember when nobody wanted to say YOLO, and then everyone was like, "Oh, YOLO," and then eventually everyone started saying YOLO unironically. That's how every like bad shit like on fleek was the thing that was just too fucking too cringe to actually like keep saying. Everyone everyone kept saying it ironically. Yeah, yeet. I said yeet unironically, and then I start, and then it just, it became part of my lexicon. That's how it fucking works. I love yeet. Yeah, well, yeah, yeet is funny, because, like, yeah, <laughs> I still say yeet, yeah. Well, like, I don't know, yeet is funny, because, like, like, throw is just kind of like a, you know, like, uh, I'm just gonna throw my grandma off a mountain. I'm gonna yeet my grandma off a mountain? Fuck yes. That's just so much more hype to yeet your grandma off a mountain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. That was my fault. Y yeah, yeet is a strong, yeah. Yeah, yeet. And then you hoist. You hoist in a direction. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the Lion King meme where, um, oh god, what's his name? The, oh god, I, I feel so fucking... Oh, uh, I, I know the monkey's name. I know the monkey's name. I just, in my brain, it just keeps going to Mufasa. That's his... Uh, Rafiki, yes. Rafiki fucking chucks Simba off the mountain. No, not Simba. <laughs> Rafiki fucking yeets Simba off the fucking cliff. It just says, ya yeet. <laughs> You never watched Lion King? Dude, Lion King's great. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen Lion King since I was like eight or something. What's up, bitch? Um, okay. I'm just going through the motions, just like mostly like this this is just a practice run anyway, so we're just like practicing and like running through it. So yeah. Yeah, dude, it's a phenomenal movie. What's you guys' favorite Disney movie of all time, would you say? Lion King is Hamlet with a happy ending. <laughs> Kinda. Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph's great. For me, it's uh, Pinocchio. Dude, Aladdin's a good one. Emperor's New Groove. Sleeping Beauty? What? Emper when Emperor's New Groove came out, I was like, I was pretty sure that that, w that was gonna be a flop. But was... <laughs> Was Emperor's New Groove Disney or was that uh, DreamWorks? It had like a DreamWorks vibe. Oh, it was Disney. Interesting. Like it had the it had the like El Dorado vibe to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Interesting. Chicken Little. Let's go. Yeah. No, El Dorado was phenomenal. Get out, Scouts. He's right. Stop booing. He's right. <laughs> I 
I think, like, watching Pinocchio was the first time that I ever felt true fucking darkness, you know, and bleakness. So I'll never forget that. It just, it, it had such an effect. So, so did Little Mermaid, you know? Yeah, it had those fucking terrifying scenes. But Pinocchio, when they're just, like, in the whale and it's just, like... They're just ready to die and just be like that. That was like that Toy Story 3 moment for me, you know? Yeah, turning into the donkey. Holy fuck. Yeah, from Pomogio. Little Mermaid sucks. What the fuck are you talking about? Little Mermaid's sick. You hated Toy Story 3? Oh, I'm sorry you hate happiness. Princess and the Frog. I still haven't seen Princess and the Frog, but I'd love to. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to do those without without using more than one gold feather. But I guess I could just turn it off and just take the hit. <clears throat> but it'd be nice to, like, I mean, especially since I'm usually low health and dying all the time in Click Clock Wood. Princess and the Frog is good, hell yeah. A girl getting a voner? What's a voner? Please tell me that- please tell me that's a typo and not a fucking new thing. Please tell me voner is not like a fucking- a video boner or some shit. A vagina boner. Really? That's a thing? Are we just- are we- are we just not saying fucking wet anymore? A voner. Yeah, I'm a boomer. I'm getting old. Yeah, like... She she gets fucking moist. Well, I guess... Uh, there's gotta be a different term. Yeah, lady boner. Yeah? Voner. I can't believe I didn't- I've never heard of that. Hot and bothered? I like hot and bothered. I just feel like... It just- it just implies like, you gotta have a dick to, you know, I- I don't know. Lady boner. I just- I want- I want like an- I want an equal word that- that fucking celebrates. Anyway, point is Ariel Smelly. Alright, well. She does probably smell like the ocean. I think we already got all this shit, so we don't have to worry about it. Like, you know when you fucking, like, park out, out near, like, like the sea? It smells weird. That's probably what Ariel- and that's probably what Ariel smells like. Can we agree, though, that the fucking what's-his-face, uh... God, I don't even remember his name. Edward? Is that the fucking dude's name? Literally the least interesting character ever drawn by a human. Or written by a human. Eric, yeah. Can we all agree he's just, like, literally personality-less? Exactly. The answer- the answer to that question is who? Seven vaginas. I don't even know what you guys are talking about anymore. I'm done. Alright, let's see if I can... There we go. Alright, take two. As much as I'd love to be murdered by bees right now. I think we're too old for half this conversation, bro. What do you mean? You guys are all different ages. You can't generalize your the, the chat as one age. In fact, if you're like, <laughs> I think we're a little bit old to have this conversation, I think you need to check on your own maturity. What's a vart? I hate this. There's no way you guys are going to fucking take... Three, four. 
There's no way you're taking Queef away from me. Yeah, there's nothing that nothing could be better than Queef. Looking a little red, my guy. Gooblyish. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. Don't say anything at all. Also, we changed the split colors. We're actually 23 minutes green. So, <laughs> jokes on you. What's Queef? It's a vagina fart. Air gets trapped up in there, and then, and then they fart with their vaginas. He goes. It's okay. This happens. It's gotta, you just gotta know. It's just a natural part of life. You gotta be okay with it. Worst thing you can do is make a girl feel self conscious about their queefing. Just gotta know it's a thing, educate yourself, and, uh, yeah. Decide in the moment the best way to deal with that situation. Can you dick fart? I'm sure you can. It's just probably not as... It's probably not the same magnitude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably hurts. I just feel like the, the amount of... I was gonna say, let's talk about this video game, and the bird just shot a jiggy at me. So the whole, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe poop and fart is the the funniest thing ever. And we're all just we're all just fucking kidding ourselves, thinking that we're all mature. We're uh, we're a little bit too old to have this conversation, guys. As watching a fucking game with a jiggy shitting bird, please. What the fuck? There we go. Sex talk cracks 15 year old me up. That's all I want to do, man. I just want to crack... Crack up all my fucking kiddos that aren't even supposed to be here because you... Lied at the thing that was like, I am a mature audience. Alright, you guys ready? The first ceremonial murdering. I wish I had some music. Oh, evil coral, time to die. Oh, my. I cannot fucking believe that. We'll just ignore notes. We'll just ignore notes. <sighs> you want Taco Bell? I just had Taco Bell. I'm good. Actually, yeah, I kind of want Taco Bell. You want to just reset? No, not fucking. There, there's like so much more of this run. Stop fucking. Stop glorifying resets. You always want to talk about what's wrong with that? Hi, evil Carl. Time to fucking die for good. Never come back. All right. We just look out for the fucking snowball and we'll be fine. One, two. We gotta practice this shit because we haven't done this. You. Fucking bitch. I want to kill him, too. Does Evil Carl fuck? Yeah, he fucks my run. Every time. I gotta practice. 
practice this. this fucking split, man. Like, I'm at the point now where I'm just like, should I just... I, I Like, it, it's too risky. We keep dying at that one spot because I leave these fucking bitches alive. Are sound alerts working again? Yeah, they should be. But, like, it, it's kind of like... I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of at a point where I'm like, I'm not even sure what the best course of action is, you know? Like, well, how do we, how do we fucking, if we can deal with that? Airbender, thank you so much for the 100. What the fuck test? What the fuck test? Anyway, finish this run up and we'll do another one. That was me. I thought I closed that. Oh, it was on a different. Can we get McDonald's? Yes, we can get McDonald's. I guess you've been okay. Chat, you guys have been okay. We can get McDonald's. I love me a thick boy. Thick be boy. Please, could you land? I want an apple pie. Oh yeah. We need to go get all the gingers. Whatever. We'll pretend like we got them all. Why are you sounding so emo? Have you seen the splits? I'm emo because I care. I'm becoming an e-boy. I'm already an e-boy. Fortunately. Try something. Let's see. There's got to be some con consistent thing that I can do here. Because, like, the way that I've been told doesn't seem to work right. I need to find exactly the point at which... He clips, and then... Hmm. Hmm. 
888 is a nice number of not not for 100 percent okay let's try this again i don't know why i'm getting worse at this we were so good at it before hold straight up and then let go and then let go yeah see how three quick taps yeah but hold on okay so that's the way that i was taught it and then it stopped working and i figured out another way and i'm trying to figure out what the what my muscle memory wants to do three quick taps one two three uh, let me try let me try some let me try something else here oh okay okay Quick A taps, yeah. So okay, let me try that. So it's pretty much like a one A, two A taps, and then yeah, that doesn't work. So hold on, let me um, kind of doing it backwards now. Thank you for highlighting penis. Okay, that that one worked. Is it three A taps then let go? Or yeah, so it's got to be. So, one, two, one, two, three. No. But I'm holding, I'm holding R and B the whole time. Why is there, there's no hate for Eevee. Yeah, the three A taps isn't really working for me. We go, one, two, three. Then it doesn't. He doesn't go. Thank you for highlighting penis twice. Okay. You let go before the three A taps? Okay. Holy shit. Okay, I think I, I think I get it. I think I get it. Okay. That's the part I missed. Let go before the three taps. Okay, I think that that's the part that I'm missing. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta drill that into my brain then. Okay. Now I gotta, now I gotta get that timing because that's different from the timing that I'm used to now. Okay. There we go. Okay. Good thing, good thing you were here. Thank you so much for that. That'll definitely help me. Oh, I almost went straight in. Okay. Just gotta be quick. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I just clipped through the wall there. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this run kind of went to shit sleep. We died like three times in Click Clock, but we're finishing it, man. The way I see it, it's it takes a strong man to finish a run this red and not submit to your chat being like, wow, why don't you just reset? <laughs> my boy, my boy T-Pose and Grunty. Crush my cock with a rock, I must. <laughs> Step on my balls with a stiletto. Okay, so now here's a good opportunity. What do I do here? What's the what's the like surefire way to get out of the eyeball? Wanna keep practicing our RBA? Yeah, I, I I don't fucking um I don't use the EverDrive as much as I should. Mostly because I'm just like overwhelmed. Okay. So I've been I've been able to get out through here. Just by spamming A and holding up. My favorite Final Fantasy character? You've never gotten dropped in the eye? Fuck. Okay, let's try. Okay. 
Exactly. And try holding down B, slamming A, and just. <laughs> ah, B! I'm a fucking B! <laughs> Come on, dude. Maybe like if I try over here, maybe the, maybe the like I haven't tried getting out this side. This might work easier. Let me out. Let the bee out, please. There we go. Maybe that's it. Start over there, work my way over. There's, I don't know. There's got to be an easier way to do it. Yeah. Dude, um I remember like one of the most like trippy fucking um Fuck. Uh, things ever. Uh, Bernie Burns was talking on uh, the Rooster Teeth podcast once about how he got a bee stuck in his ear. So I guess he was out doing yard work and there was like, like I guess a bee went flying and went straight into his fucking ear, like all the way into the canal. Did you hold down once? I, uh, no, I don't remember. I think I was holding down that time too. Um, like he was doing yard work and a bee just flew straight directly into his ear and then was just stuck. And like he had to like go to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, like schedule that shit. Oh wait, fuck, we gotta go this way. And then, um, yeah, he experienced it as like so. What they had to do is they had to like blow it out. Like they had to like like flush the ear hole with like water or something. Not water, but like like air or something like that. I don't know. But like I think it was like a fluid. It was like a fluid that they had to flush this bee out. And uh, like because like and it, like he said it was weird because like he could only hear out of one ear. Um, but he said that like the 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 experience of getting that blast in his uh, in his ear was like the single most loudest thing he's ever heard in his life. Like it just it just like the sensation was something that was just insanely fucking loud. You pull it out by yourself. Damn. Well, you're lucky. Not everyone can do that. It didn't sting. I don't know. Probably did. Next to this buzzing man. I'm sure that everyone else couldn't hear the bee. At a certain point, I'm sure the bee fucking stopped buzzing. Hello, what the fuck? Oh, am I still split behind? Oh yeah, I forgot to split. Oh fuck, well. Uh, graves not found in the grave. Oh, whatever, we'll just fucking reset it. It's Clanker's Teefies. My least favorite Pokemon? I don't know. I don't have a least favorite Pokemon. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Massive boomers. Oh, fuck. Uh, probably Bubble Clockwood. Uh, it's my favorite level. I can't believe it it wasn't right. It's really weird. Very strange that that was not the answer. Look, I've got I've got the Joker. Split. Wait, come back. Yo huh? Am I going to start a new run? Yeah, I'm probably going to take a break since this run's kind of long. I'm going to get up, stretch, probably get, grab something to eat, fill up my bottles, my coffee, and, uh... Oh, I know what my least favorite... The fucking keys! Key fling! Just on a design, I'm just like, I'm kind of pissed, you know? It's just like, come on, dude. I fucking... Some keys, bro. 
I was pissed off at the, the fucking sword Pokemon. Or Klefki, yeah. Not Keefling. I know Klefki's a great Pokemon, but Banjo like and Smash! Especially Banjo and Smash. Jay Land, thanks so much for the two months. Appreciate that. Yeah, no, Klefki is a fucking like overpowered as shit, but just the design of Klefki is so infuriating. About the garbage Pokemon? Yeah, I've heard Klefki is pretty good. <sighs> Welcome, Bobbert. Oh, no. I just, like, when they started making Pokemon out of just, like, inanimate objects, it's just kind of like, this doesn't feel... This ain't my Pokemon. I took, like, all the damage po that I possibly could have in that. Voltorb? Yeah, but Voltorb is... what? Like, I mean, I don't know. Voltorb is different. Voltorb's like a ball, but like an electricity ball or whatever. What? Geodude is not a fucking rock. Fuck you. Geodude has feelings. Grimer? Dude, come on. Yeah, but they're not, these are not household I items. It's, you know, you don't fuck it like... It's, that's an element. Boltorb is just a Pokeball. Okay, yeah, but Klefki is a ring of keys! Like, literally, whoever made Klefki was looking around the room like, Oh, fuck, I gotta get a Pokemon in! The fucking deadline's coming! He's looking around his room, we're like, Fuck, what do I make? Oh, here's some fucking keys! Let me make a fucking key Pokemon! That sounds like a great idea! Fuck! No! It's not the same thing as a fucking Pokeball or a rock. Fucking god damn it. Hi! Nope! I just lost Grunty. Because I was yelling about Klefki being a fucking ring of keys. Where are you going? Um. Gotta say hi to Adriana. What kind of bees produce milk? Who bees? I like that. Adriana, what do you think of this joke? What kind of bees produce milk? Boobies. <laughs> she just said, oh. Hey, everybody. Have a fun boy. Um. I'm wearing my mask. That way you can't see how ugly it looks. She's wearing a mask. Cute. Wear your mask, kids. What that's for? I don't like Klefki. I don't like Klefki. Why not? I think Klefki's a good Pokemon, but I just feel like it's a very lazy design. Why? Because it's a fucking ring of keys. What do you mean so? Why am I the crazy one for thinking a ring of keys shouldn't be a Pokemon? Charizard's just a dragon. Oh my god, that's not a... I'm angry. Charizard's just a dragon. I mean... Is he not? Okay. My thing is it just feels like whoever made Klefki was just like looking around the room just like, Oh fuck, I gotta figure out a new Pokemon. Just use a ring of keys. Like, yeah, we'll just make a ring of keys Pokemon. It's just, it feels cheap and lazy to me. That's all I'm saying. You... <sighs> Right, lizard, excuse me. <laughs> is that not what a dragon is, a flying lizard? Mm, mm, I think it's a dumb design. This is me. I mean, Magikarp is just a fish. You can say, okay, but I'm talking about, like, these are animals, po pocket monsters, you know? Yeah. Like, that makes more sense than a ring of keys. That's it's just, it's weird. Okay, then what about... Nine, don't post links without asking permission. The, the, the coal mine cart. You don't think that's a lazier design? I, I think it's a lazy design, but Klefki came first. You just gotta love him. What if somebody said...
said to you, well, that's just a human. That's true. <laughs> They'd be right. I am just a human. That's true, Carlos. Yeah. No, I, I don't think that's a great Pokemon either. Hey, Carlos. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> I need to hire you. A ring of keys goes in your pocket, pocket monsters. Well, when you put it that way, all right, fine. Klefki is the best designed Pokemon in the world. Are you guys happy now? Because fucking Jesus. Ooh, he left the chat. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna do Starbucks? Okay. I might take an extended break. Um, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll drive you to I might, I might. Guys, what if I take the whole stream down and then we'll stream again later? Um, like, would you guys rather I stay live while I'm gone or, well, no, I, I'd be ruining the internet. I'd probably have to do a, a, like a, like a more banjo runs later. How much later? Probably be, be like an hour and a half to two hours. I just like, are you guys all gonna fucking leave? <laughs> like, or do you guys, are you guys gonna come back? Cause that's the thing, man. It sucks. That's What's wh the difference between a good burger and a shooting star? The burger is very meaty, but the other is a little meatier. I like that. Okay. Hell yeah. All right. Beck, can you start running? Okay. Let's see this. Uh, I'll go to sleep, to be honest. That's fine. I feel like you guys are probably going to go to sleep anyway, so we'll just do, um, uh, yeah, uh, um, I'd like to do another run, but I'll, I'll come back later. Um, let's restart when you're back. Yeah, I'll, I'll start off the stream when I get back. I'm, I'm going to run. I'm going to try to get some, uh, some things, uh, thing, some, some shit done, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, it's nine. How late are they open? Ten? Okay. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll, do a, we'll do a raid, and then I'll come back uh, later on tonight. Does that sound good with you guys? All right. Please come back. I miss you. I already miss you. I already miss you. <laughs> 